Welcome back, everybody, to Martin Stadium Homecoming. Washington State Cougars meeting the Cal Golden Bears along with Yogi Roth, Kevin Calabro, and down on the field is Lewis Johnson standing by with the story. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. And Yogi just mentioned it. There's no pretension here at all. If you get the ball, it's going in the air. Washington State wins the toss. They're receiving. Here they go. <laughs> well, buckle up. Just like Lewis said, it's going to be an offensive showcase all night long. You got two of the most dynamic quarterbacks in America, two of the most creative offensive minds on both sides of the ball. Here we go. James Langford getting set to kick off. Jamal Morrow, redshirt freshman out of California. Marcus Mason, a senior, fellow Californian as well. Waiting inside the 10 yard line of the Cougars. This one is belted into the end zone, and Washington State will bring it up. Better room to run, and the Cougars begin work with Connor Halliday. 78 touchdown passes in his career and counting 20 TDs on the air seven interceptions over 2300 total yards he's a good one take a look at our accent difference makers tonight well keep an eye on River Craycraft specifically on third down he's a big target in this offense Jamal Morrow he's an exciting true freshman running back and on defense Brennan Scarlett he'll be coming off the edge and Michael Lowe this is a secondary that's been banged up a lot of backups a lot of young guys playing he's got to keep their psyche in the game against a lot of pass attempts Halliday from nearby Spokane, Washington, Ferris High School, just up the road about an hour or so north of here. We'll fling it to the right side, and we begin play with a speed pass and a first down and a little more for Washington State as they negotiate their way past their own 30-yard line. Well, it's no secret. We're going to throw the ball. Connor Halliday, he's completed more passes than 120 teams have attempted in FBS. I mean, it's ridiculous how much they're throwing the football. Isaiah Myers, the reception, he has 36 on the year and five touchdown passes to his credit already. So on first down, here are the Cougs on a beautiful night tonight here in Portland. Swing pass near side, Vince Bailey, a favorite target of Halliday's up near the 40-yard line before he is plowed under by Jake Kearney. Now, all night long, they're going to try to give a variety of looks to Connor Halliday, but if he keeps going to the quick game and just getting the ball out, it doesn't really matter the variety of looks because the ball is out so quickly. Already some injuries to report for Cal before the game. Stephen McClure is out. Backup junior safety, and Avery Sebastian, a junior safety as well, out. So they have a depleted core in the backfield. Halliday will go intermediate near side and across the 42 yard line. This will be shy of the first down. The receiver there coming out of the backfield is Jamal Morrow. Cedric Dozier with the stop. I mean, important for Cedric Dozier to have a big game. And this secondary, as we talked about early on in the game, they got picked apart last week. Sefo Lufa threw for seven touchdowns against the secondary. They're going to continue to have a short memory all night long if they want to have a chance in this ballgame. Yogi, they had two offensive linemen. They put seven up front just past the 40-yard line. Ball resting at the 42 for the Cougars. Here in a third and one situation for Halliday. They keep it on the ground, try to cut it back. Excellent response by the Cal Bears to him it in and then swarm under the ball carrier. Hardy Nickerson, the first man to the action. Interesting offensive set by Washington State with their offensive line. Kind of knew they were going to run the football in that situation. Even it's third and short. Cal sniffed it out, flew to the football. And this is a big stop for them early on in this mm -hmm. ball game against this high-powered air raid offense. Chris Harper is back for the Golden Bears. Keep an eye on him. He can scoot. Ball driven into the air. What a beautiful punt that is tumbling into the autumn night. Harper at the five. Gets a block. Steps between two guys. Bounces near side to the 20. Excellent one-on-one -on -one tackle. And that's where California will begin. Jared Goff last week was sharp, Yogi. You were there. You witnessed it. Well, he just kind of went to work. You put on a clinic offensively. But what you love about him when you go back and watch the film, he just took what the defense gave him every once in a while. He had to get creative, get outside the pocket. But he showcased his ability to make every throw in the book. Jared Goff continues to get comfortable in this offense. Seven, count him seven touchdown passes a week, or a week ago to win the graduate school player of the game. Goff on play action. First down steps up. Flings it from the pocket. And a little safety release. 
That was Daniel Lasco making himself available. He is dragged down. A gain of a few on the play. Xavier Cooper up front makes the stop. Cooper joined by Califatoni, Pole, and Destiny. Vial. Vial, we learned, is dinged up, but we'll get to start tonight. Lasco will take it. The durable back plows across for the first down. What's going to be unique about both of these offenses is that there's so much freedom for both quarterbacks in the line of scrimmage. Jared Goff goes to the line of scrimmage with a run and a pass, majority of snaps, and he has to make the decision reading this defense. And this defense, early on for Washington State, they've been moving around. Lasco caught a 92-yard touchdown pass a year ago, number one in Cal Bears history. Goff hurried that one a little bit, incomplete. Difference Makers brought to you tonight by AXA. Well, Daniel Lasco, we talked about early on in the ballgame as well. This is a young man who's earned this job as a starting running back. He's got big play potential. Chris Adcock, the center, he's calling out all the protections against the variety of blitzes he'll see. Then on the other side, keep an eye on this safety, Hamid. He is a young player. They love his potential. They love his explosiveness. He has not been tested against an arm like this from Jared Goff. Second and 10, Goff will dispatch men to the left side. Hand off to Lasco. Oh, he is chopped down across the 37 yard line by Daquan Brown. Excellent one on one tackle. A really young secondary for Washington State. Mike Leach said, Look, they're athletes. We got to put them on the field, give them their opportunity. Brown was one who played last year as a true freshman. They love his potential at the corner spot. Daryl Paulo steps in up front for Washington State. Four man front on third and seven. And Goff, hard rush, dumps it off near side to Lasco. Trying to plow ahead. He's going to be short of the first down. So Washington State's defense holds. Mike Breski, the defensive coordinator for Washington State, told us earlier this week that he had to bring a variety of pressures just to try to disrupt Jared Goff's timing. They did it on those first three snaps of that drive. And here we go on a fourth. Jeremiah Allison get in there to create a little havoc fourth down and two they empty out the backfield offset back Goff will check trying to draw Washington State into some action at the line of scrimmage Califani Muhammad speedster in sophomore from Inglewood off the right hip of Goff and Cal taking a long time Tony Franklin the offensive coordinator Sonny Dykes the head coach We're looking for a specific look. Didn't have it. It's an right, Let's just let the play clock wind down. We'll take the penalty, punt the ball. But you think if you're a defensive player all week long, all you hear about is all these offenses, these two quarterbacks, the boatloads of yards and touchdowns that we've seen all season. These two defenses have come out with an extra spring. And these are two teams coming off dramatic wins where you'd think they might be a little fatigued. Neither one has shown that. Washington State down 21 nothing with five and change left in the first quarter to Utah and come back to win the game. Terrific fourth quarter effort by Halliday and company. Ricky Galvin is back for Washington State. This punt is angled high into the air. Cole Leininger sends it tumbling to the far side and out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. 939 left in the first. Butch wants to see some offense maybe after the break. You really don't even need a coat if you're out there in the stands and a good crowd on hand for homecoming immediately a flag as Washington State takes the ball for the second time tonight. False start 58 offense five yard penalty. That's your center down. Riley Sorensen with movement up front keys to the game brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors Mitsubishi Motors invites you to find your own lane. Well for Cal on defense their DBs need to make plays on the ball. They've been in position throughout the season but they just haven't won a lot for Washington State. Connor Halliday he's got to call a good game literally he is calling every snap he has that freedom. We talked to Mike Leach about it. He said my quarterbacks have been doing that for 20 years. Halliday on first down, looking for the bundle, has a man under it. Mainly with a catch. Mainly in a foot race with low. Mainly to the 20. He's going to go. Cougar touchdown. 90 yards. That's why you came, right? <laughs> Mm 
Vincent Maley simply runs a post route. He's at the bottom of your screen. And this is backyard football, throw it up. I'm faster than the DB, going up against a traditional safety in Michael Lowe. He's been playing that position this year. That is the big play explosiveness that you have been accustomed to seeing from Washington State this season. 79 touchdown passes in his career. Connor Halliday and Vince Maley with his sixth of the year, the senior from Natomas, California. Oh, and the extra point added by Quentin Brashears and Washington State is off to a 7-0 start. Here we go. Somebody lit the fuse. It might as well be the Cougars on homecoming. Washington State has struck on homecoming. They lead 7-0. All right, if we take a look at this play, we've got man-to-man -man coverage right here. We've got the safety in cover, too. He's looking at that receiver, and that's what's going to allow this play to happen. You'll see all of a sudden man-to-man -man coverage, and that safety is gone, and away we go. Touchdown to Maley, 90 yards, the longest in Connor Halliday's illustrious career. Fourth touchdown pass over 80 yards for Halliday. This ball taken by Mohammed, and he is stopped in his tracks. Connor Halliday, such a dynamic player. You just look at what he's done in his career, and I think what's so impressive is that he's had to learn Mike Leach's system. You know, Coach Leach talked about the quarterbacks that had success under him. They've always had someone to learn from. He hasn't had that. He's had to kind of be the guy, competed for the job early in his career, never really had a mentor within this offense, and he's really mastered it now. He's got full command, calling plays every single snap. Mike Leach, coach Washington State. And Sonny Dykes worked together at Kentucky under Hal Mummy, and then later Sonny Dykes joined the staff at Texas Tech and coached under the tutelage of Mike Leach. Flags fly, and Cal is penalized for Don't the first time tonight. Offense. Number 73, five-yard penalty, half the distance to the goal. First down, five. Well, Connor Halliday got backed up on a call similar to that a moment ago to his own 10 yard line and he let it fly. We mentioned the injuries sustained by Cal's safeties, the, the backups. But keep in mind, they're here at Washington State. Their back four is comprised of a sophomore, a freshman, and two redshirt freshmen. Goff will test him, trying to go over the middle on a slant. Intended receiver was Bryce Treggs, but that one fell incomplete. And they continue to bring pressure. I think they brought pressure every single snap against Cal early on in this ball game, trying to force Jared Goff to make throws with people in his legs, offensive linemen near him, just trying to feel some of that pressure, see if he can short on a ball, which he did on that last pass. And Darius Lamora, one of those redshirt freshmen Yogi we talked about, was in coverage that time. They swing it near side and a screen pass, trying to cut it back in was Kenny Lawler, but he is tripped up and driven down. And this secondary, extremely young. They go redshirt freshman, true freshman, redshirt freshman, a true sophomore in the back end. When you talk to their defensive coordinator, Mike Bresky, about this squad, they said, we got to remain aggressive. Allow these guys to get their hands on the wide receivers. Try to create some sort of disruption. Third and 11. Goff pivots away from pressure. Lasco is tripped up inside the 10-yard line, and the Cougars turn in a stellar defensive stop there. Daryl Monroe came up from his middle linebacking position to sniff that one out and he comes limping off the field and Cal will have to punt. You, know, you walk around the facility of Washington State there's a sign on every wall that says be a team be the most excited to play be the best at doing your job. Daryl Monroe was the most excited on that snap absolutely bursting to the ball. Cole Leininger to punt. Ricky Galvin is waiting at his own 45. Boy, Leininger gets into this one and booms it down to Galvin at his own 41. Maintains balance. Readjusts still on his feet across to the 45. Washington State leading 7-0. Takes possession in Cal territory when we come back. 
two teams that love to throw the ball a lot of high scoring Connor Halliday's already struck for a 90 yard bomb and now in the third possession let's see what they do here an excellent position on the field at the Cal Bear 45. I expect him to take another shot. This is exactly what Mike Leach likes to do. They call it piggyback, and after a big play, piggyback to another one. Gerard Wicks, the man in the backfield. Jukes left, moves right, and he is knocked down. Gain of a couple on the play. Connor Halliday moving up on the list. Anything he does at this point gets him up there and some pretty rarefied air. 79 touchdown passes. The great Derek Anderson out of Oregon State. Andrew Luck, we all know about him. Rudy Carpenter. Matt Barkley, top of the list, 116. Bullet pass near side complete. Halliday really turned the smoke loose on that one. Connor Halliday talked to us earlier this week and he said, I feel so good in this offense. I know exactly where every read's going to be. When you talk to the defensive coaches at Cal, the eye manipulation of Connor Halliday is as good as anyone in the country, where he continues to look off safeties and go right back where he wants to throw the ball. And that one was to Dom Williams who comes into this game with 40 catches and seven touchdowns on the year. Excellent one-on-one -on -one tackle there, turned in by Cal. Devontae Downs comes up to chop down Gerard Wicks. You know, it's interesting. You look at the Washington State pad pass offense. This is what they do. And Cal, they struggled in the past defense. When you watch them on film, the Cal secondary, they've been in position. They just haven't been able to make a lot of plays. And they are got some injuries, playing some young guys. Stephen McClure, he's not playing tonight. We just saw Downs. He's a true freshman getting some play. Second and 10 Cougars. Out of the backfield, Wicks. Knocked down at the 25-yard line. And another one-on-one. -on -one. We heard the coaches all week when we talked to them express the the necessity to make one on one plays in the open field because these two teams of course spread it out well and it's challenging because in training camp you don't do a ton of tackling so you try to just make sure you work the fundamentals every day in that individual period in practice so your players especially the young ones know how to tackle properly not only with two receivers to the short side of the field to his right steps up in the pocket he's going to be dragged down tackle for a loss at about the 25 yard line Brennan Scarlett, a good one, got in there to gobble him up. The team captain, a junior, coming back after a lost season last year because of an injury to the left hand. And Brennan Scarlett, he's a huge reason why Cal has had his resurgence this year. All off season long, he led the workouts, coming back off the injury that you mentioned. He's the defensive leader for this Cal team. Brings up fourth down. Quinton Brashears is summoned. Brashears' longest this year is 38 yards. This one is set down at the 32. 42 yarder is up. It is good. Right down the boulevard. Washington State takes a 10 0 lead. So after a defensive stop, forcing Cal to punt, excellent field position inside midfield in Cal territory. Washington State comes away with points. You know, we look for players every week. That play beyond the X's and O's, and that's what Jared Goff's going to have to do against this defense. He did it a week ago. We've seen it all season long. Yeah. Mr. Goff made his way to the truck yesterday with his teammates. <laughs> now that image that goes all across the Pac-12 footprint. A lot of talented players making the TV truck. Well, we're looking for the little things. <laughs> Teammates having some fun with him, but I think Jared Goff right now is as Cal's gonna get the ball back. He's gonna have to continue to make some close, get get some get creative outside of the pocket. There's so much internal pressure coming right now from Washington State. Don't be surprised you see him roll out a little bit. He's more athletic than I think people give him credit for. Good to see those kids have some fun after the year they went through last year with all the injuries they had, did not win a game in conference. One and eleven. They broke the 15-game losing streak last week and against Cal to finally get that win in the pack track. Good to see that. Kalfani Mohammed will take it from his own end zone. Track man in the spring, football in the fall, and he is knocked down as he just got across his own 15. Tana Pritchard in special teams. Yeah, usually the rule on kickoff return is if you're about four or five yards deep, you want to stay in. See Muhammad back up. His teammate kind of gave him the, hey, let's go, let's go, and not the greatest of field positions. But that's always the gray area where you want to be extremely demonstrative. Stay, 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 or bring it up. 
Cal has been good on the ground this year 172 rushing yards per ball game 366 through the air 47 points scored per ball game for this Cal team that went on the road in the first week of the season and beat Northwestern 31 24 in Evanston Bryce Treggs makes the catch to the 25 and he has stood up I think Bryce Treggs a name we'll hear a lot tonight with all the blitzes that are coming Bryce Treggs will move from outside to the slot this season He's always going to have the advantage matchup wise going up against outside linebackers or safeties. Daquan Brown and Charleston White, the two corners. Suleiman Hamid and Darius Lamar, the safeties for Washington State. Here's the handoff to Daniel Lasco, so strong. Second effort, drags a tackler across the 35 yard line. You will see Lasco do that again and again because of a determined offseason in the weight room. And it's good to see Cal really get a running game going. I mean, if you'd watched Cal a year ago, you would have thought they're exactly like this air raid offense of Mike Leach, where they really want to run the football more, utilize the screen game more. And Daniel Lasko is a big reason because he is a big back for this offense. Washington State. Trying to contain Goff, steps up in the pocket. This pass slightly underthrown and batted away. Chris Harper was out there, made himself available, but it was Charleston White, the redshirt freshman from Amarillo, Texas, that got his hand on the ball. Well, it's man to man coverage. They love playing man coverage. He gets turned around a little bit. Watch him play the ball. That's an incredible job with that right arm right at the last minute, swiping. Try to use, utilize that left arm around the body of Harper. And right now, White is playing with a lot of confidence after a great game last week against Utah. Second and ten, Mohammed dragged down just across the line of scrimmage. Calafatone Pele with the stop. Talk to any coach in the country, and specifically the Pac-12, they talk about this defensive line of Washington State. Look at Paul A, the senior from Union City, California. They say he is our run stopper. Goff swallowed and knocked down. Washington State bringing the heat. Ivan McLennan, the first guy there. Well, when a team struggles, you don't win a lot of games like Washington State has. You've got to change an entire culture. And it starts with the attitude. And it really starts with defense. Are you going to be an aggressive, defensive-minded team? That's exactly who Washington State wants to be. That is their identity. They are going to bring pressure. They brought it about 80% of the time tonight. And they've won all the battles at the line of scrimmage. Cal scoreless, under three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Leininger boots this one high into the air. It comes down out of bounds just past midfield. So again, the Cougars have excellent field position to begin another campaign. Let's take a look at the principal financial group, edge to the game. Well, I think when you look at Cal, they've got to score. You, know, you talk to a lot of coaches in the conference, and they always say you got to score more than 30 points, and that is a big element within offensive football. And I think right now for Cal offensive, they really just haven't found a unique rhythm right now. They've gotten that first first down, but they haven't been able to get to that second one. River Craycraft was back to receive the punt. Ricky Galvin a few moments ago on the return was nicked up and went limping over to the sideline. So we'll keep an eye on the condition of Ricky Galvin. Jamal Morrow in the backfield now for Washington State. Makes himself available, turns, makes a nice catch, gets two blocks at the edge. And here at the bottom of your screen is run out of bounds at the 35 and flags are flying in that vicinity. Griffin Pyatt came up to uh, usher him out of bounds. There has to be a hold on the wideouts on the bottom of your screen for Washington State. Holding off at number one, 10 yard penalty, makes first down. Yogi, you saw that immediately, no doubt a technique you employed at Pitt. Years <laughs> well, you ago. You try to get away with it. You'll see at the very bottom of your screen, Vincent Maley, you're getting a hand to hand contact. You're taught to get your hands inside. You're taught to actually grab the jersey, but it gets a little bit too obvious right there. <laughs> gets the flag. Boy, they moved on the snap. Melee comes across on a reverse. Melee down across the 50-yard line. 
trying to sweep across from his position here set up at the near side. A little uh, tap right there from Connor Halliday. Hmm. Imagine how much fun it must be to be him in this offense. You are calling every single snap, but that also means you've got to do a lot of that work during the week to study film. Halliday checks right, throws up the middle, seam right, ball too far out in front of the intended receiver. Robert Lewis is after that one. Watch Connor Halliday. He just sit in the pocket. He feels the pressure. Look at his eyes manipulate. Whew. He knows he's about to get hit, so he lets go of the ball. Misses the target, but that's the type of poise that Connor Halliday didn't have last year, didn't have the year before that. That's really where he's grown in terms of comfort in the pocket and knowing where his receivers are going to be. Seven of eight, 137 yards, a touchdown. Halliday backpedals and throws to the near side. Has a man under it, but this one over his head, out of bounds, incomplete. Halliday this year is. Had nine receivers who have caught a pass in each of the first five games. So many weapons, and this is a throw that he completes. You, know, you go back and watch the tape a week ago against Utah. He missed a lot of throws in the first half. Now, the conditions were unique. It was raining, it was windy, but you know, playing up here in the Palouse, the conditions aren't always ideal, so he's usually pretty accurate in those conditions, but that's the type of throw that he should make because his receiver was open on a, on a unique third down. Bears get a stop, but Chris Harper is waiting. Jordan Descalo got under this one, sends it high into the air. Harper gathers it in. And another hard shot. This Washington State special teams group does not mess around. They will put the lumber on you. There is a flag on the play. 29-yard punt. Holding number 65 on the kicking team. 10-yard penalty at the end of the kick. First down. Well, look, when you look at Cal and just look at the narrative of their season. <laughs> and the narrative of last year. Of course, with Jared Goff against Washington State. I mean, he had one of his most dynamic games. Even though it wasn't a loss, he was able to spray the ball all over the field, a variety of different, different weapons. He continues to find his comfort level as a true freshman, settled in within this offense. And now, a year later, here's Jared Goff, 20 pounds heavier, looking forward to lead his team from behind 10 to nothing. And Washington State beat Cal 44-22 last year. And again, flags fly up front. Ball start, 71, offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Road, Crossthwaite, the penalized party. Let's go down to the field and Lewis Johnson standing by. Yeah, Kevin, after that last uh, Cal offensive drive, uh, Jordan Rigsby, the right tackle, was really upset here on the sideline, giving up that sack to Jared Goff. Really, their whole whole line here trying to figure out how to protect. And we know that Sonny Dykes told us earlier in the week that they got to be able to block that defensive front, pass protect, but they're having some trouble now trying to figure it out. Sonny said it was the best he had seen this year, that defensive front of Washington State. So they know. What they are in for tonight is Lasco comes free out of the backfield with a reception. Well, because of all the pressure right now, and really what this defensive line is doing to Tony Franklin's offensive line, it's forcing Jared Goff to get rid of the football quickly. So that means the Washington State secondary, they're going to play tight. Say, all right, you're going to throw those screen passes just like on that last one. You can gain one yard. We're not allow you to gain ten. Second and nine for the Cal Bears. Goff pump fakes and finds a man for a first down. Bryce Treggs. Over the middle. I think you have to continue to work the middle of the field. Quarterbacks, 10, 15 years ago, they used to want to just work outside because it was single high coverage. But now with these two high looks, it's allowing you to work in between the hashes. Cal Bears trying to establish some rhythm. Goff the handoff. Quick opener. Lasco spins off the initial contact and picks up some nice yardage there across the 50 yard line into Cougar territory. You know, these teams, when you watch them practice, they practice with such rhythm, with such tempo. And when you get in the game, you don't have that rhythm and tempo. You can get thrown off. Right now, in this Cal drive by Daniel Lasko, Jared Goff, they find a little bit of rhythm, and you're seeing them have success. Lasko, broad shoulders, six feet, 210. Junior out of Houston, Texas, is the offset back. Here's Goff. Fires over the middle again to Treggs, but a lot of traffic in there, and the ball batted away. Darius Lamora was there. 
Cachet Palacio as well on the play. Just look at the surge up front. You know, Washington State bringing pressure from depth. And this offensive line of Cal is always taught to set back. That's the scheme. But they're getting pushed back into Jared Goff. Palacio with a nice defensive stop. Brings up third and three. Kalfani Mohammed in the backfield now for Cal. Kenny Lawler lined up to the near side, the bottom of your screen, and it's Lawler who makes a terrific grab across the 45-yard line. That's the first down. Lawler, the sophomore from Pomona, California. 13 grabs on the year coming into this game. We had a chance to meet Kenny Lawler yesterday. You shake his hand. <laughs> they are huge. I mean, his fingers go up halfway through your forearm. I mean, he's got great mitts, great ball skills, the most talented receivers in the Pac-12. Count first down. Muhammad will take it. Slanting and driven down. Yeah, I think Cal, they want to take some shots. They'd love to use this vertical game, but they've struggled against this front seven of Washington State. Connor Halliday already has thrown a 90-yard bomb. Washington State leads 10-0 at the end of one. In Pullman. They've got to get busy. They're down 10-0, but in the last couple of games after the first quarter, they have trailed 31-7. This is a pass to Treggs that he gathers in about knee level and then is knocked down at the 27 yard line. Terrific catch by Treggs, whose dad played at Cal back in the late 80s. Brian Treggs, good one. That's an absolute rope from Jared Goff. I mean, again, they're seeing two high safeties, two safes in the middle of the field. Work the slot. Bryce Treggs, number one, he's at the bottom of your screen in the slot. Goff on first down. Timing play, the turn, the outstretched arms of Harris, and then the ball jolted free. And a terrific play by Daquan Brown, who got there at the same time the ball arrived. Both of these teams coming off emotional victories. Concerned for a letdown? Well, in the second, all you got to do is talk about the passing attacks you're going to see. And Daquan Brown gets turned around last minute. That is textbook. That is clinic worthy. I think that's a nomination for 12 best because that is exactly how you're supposed to play the ball as a corner. Those two corners, White and Brown, one a sophomore, one a redshirt freshman. They've turned in outstanding plays. But now getting deep into the backfield and into the end zone for a touchdown is Trevor Davis, the junior from Martinez, California. Trevor Davis goes 27 yards with a leather, and California's on the board for the first time tonight. Well, they run that inside screen. He's at the bottom of the screen. You watch Davis run inside. He catches it. Look at the block, and then you'll see it at the very end. Watch Steven Anderson, 89, at the top of your screen. Whoop, just enough to spring him to the end zone. The transfer from Hawaii, Trevor Davis. Most natural hands on the team, according to the coaching staff. Extra point added, and California has put seven on the board just like that to begin this second quarter of play. 17th straight scoring drive for Cal under three minutes. They get it done fast. They're within three here at Pullman. Ten seven Cougars on homecoming night. Just the beginning of the second quarter as the Cal Bears score. 17th straight scoring drive under three minutes of play. You cannot blink when these two teams are on the field. Well, you can't take a breather if you're a defender either. There is no time for mental lapses because when you have a mental lapse, it means six points for the other team. Pac-12 Network broadcast tonight for Pullman. Brought to you by AXA. Kick in the air. And Marcus Mason is under it. Bouncing to the bottom of your screen is Mason to the 25, and a flag flies across the 30-yard line. Let's get an update from Mike Yam now in San Francisco. <laughs> Saw one two weeks ago, and Anu Solomon threw that 47-yard bomb in the end zone to break the heart of Cal. Take a look at the standings. It's, it's scrambled, Yogi. Well, it's so competitive. You know, parity's not the right word, because you hear parity and you think, ah, uh, teams aren't very good. But everyone is so talented, so well coached. And you look at that game in Southern California for Mike Berkovici to come home and get that win. Good. And the winner of this game takes first place in the North. How about that? Oregon with a loss against Arizona. I mean, week in and week out. It's not like it used to be. And you can look at even Colorado. They've been so competitive the last two weeks. They lose a heartbreaker today. Utah's going to be fun to watch them. They're going up against UCLA right now. So it is a loaded Pac-12 conference. That's a look at the UPS road to the Pac-12 championship game.
Cougars on second and ten. Halliday eases into this one to the far side. Cal Bears pursue with Todd Bear dragging down Green, the receiver. When you talk to coaches who've been around Mike Leach in the system, whether it was at Texas Tech or here at Washington State, it doesn't do a lot offensively, but they execute it so well. So defensively, you're going to take a couple risks, but you got to know if you take one, you got the opportunity for the other team to throw a bomb over your head. Third and eight. Halliday deep drop, has a man over the middle. The catch, first down and more. Angling across Don Williams into Cal Bear territory is upended at the 45-yard line. Don Williams, who has caught six touchdown passes already this year. Well, this is Don Williams. He's played a lot of football here at Washington State. Against the true freshman, A.J. Greathouse, in really his first extensive action. And he just works with the line of scrimmage, a great release, simple slant route. Williams has been the hot hand the last couple of weekends. Two touchdown passes against Oregon in the loss here. And then two in the comeback win from 21 down in the rain a week ago in Utah. Quick little opener, Jamal Morrow tripped up. But that run right there, that, that's perfect for Washington State. If they can get four and a half to five yards of carry in the last two games and you take their sacks out, they've averaged about 4.3 yards per carry. So, yeah, they're not rushing for 200 yards like some people may want them to, but they are still efficient in the run game, and that's the goal in this offense. Mike Leach told us that uh, he's seen his offensive line gradually improve to the point now where he took over a group that averaged 275. They're now well over 300 pounds. He feels like now he's got confidence to run the ball as he does here. On second down, take a look at the numbers. They've increased as the season has progressed. Last year, 29 yards per. And last in the nation. Well, they've got some explosive players or two now. years ago. You know, this offensive line has grown. You know, they averaged 270 in Mike Leach's first season. Now they're all over 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. The running backs are running 4 9 his first year. They're running 4 4. You know, big recruits. These are more athletic players. Halliday back to throw. Slings one to the near side. This pass is complete for first down. A surprise, surprise. It's River Craycraft on third down. When you look at his numbers throughout the season, the majority of his catches are on third down. Yeah, asked the Utes about that last week. He was a terror. Four out of 13 grabs on third down. That's his 14th third down reception on the season. He's converted 12. Halliday on first down, throws a beauty intended for Maley just off his fingertips. Tight spiral headed toward the end zone. How about that? And that is not an easy catch, but that is a catch that Vincent Maley and these offensive players make. But that's the beauty of this offense, and now they'll come right back to it, and they'll throw another one, and another one, another one, keep putting pressure on the secondary. Second down for Halliday. 10 of 14, 185 of the touchdown, an out route. Throws that ball a long way for a first down. Don Williams tumbles out of bounds. Well, this is a clinic worthy route. Going up against Cedric Dozier. And he gives him a little stick move to the inside, and Dozier isn't within five yards. A Cougar first down and the ball resting at the Cal 16 yard line. Single coverage across the board. Cal bringing a committee. Halliday over the middle and a touchdown. Washington State. Isaiah Myers getting untangled for the touchdown, his sixth of the year. Well, it's single coverage. And the man who makes every decision at the quarterback position. Says, oh, you're going to play man to man on the outside? I'm going to go to one of my guys and find six. That's exactly what he does on the slam. Nine plays, 58 yards, and the touchdown for Halliday, who now has 80 for his career. And they did it 
In quick order, time of possession 317. Cougars lead by 10. Goff has been sacked once and hurried a number of times. Muhammad juggled the ball, gets control, and dives forward to the 25 yard line. And an update now coming from Mike Yam in San Francisco. Kevin, time now for a GoRVing.com game break. 7 nothing Utah on top of UCLA. Kendall Thompson adding some points here to Drez Anderson. Somehow able to come up with the 42-yard touchdown strike. Kevin, the Bruins in some trouble early. 14-zip now in the second quarter. Thompson's transfer from Oklahoma. Shaking things up a little bit in Utah. Yeah. Tough weekend for Travis Wilson last weekend and a loss to Washington State. They had one offensive touchdown. That was that long blast that Devontae Booker ran off in the first quarter on the Cougs trail 21-0. Goff goes far side. And he's able to hook up beautifully over there. Pass complete to Kenny Lawler. And Charleston White was over there to make the tackle. And that looks like a simple completion, but that throw, go ahead and try it in the backyard from the opposite hash to outside the numbers on the line. That's the arm talent of Jared Goff. Cal Bears averaging 47 points per ball game. Go to work. Goff steadies. Throws a beautiful pass. Over the middle. Complete. Chris Harper was there to bring it down. And the Washington State 41. Keep an eye on Jared Goff as he drops back. Just his poise in the pocket. His ability to remain calm. Make slight adjustments. Slide to the left a little bit. Look at his feet. He's got quick feet. That's what they Personal teach. Foul. Hands to the face. Number 90 on the defense. 15-yard penalty. Will really he add it to the end of the play? First down. So a big opportunity now coming for Cal. Keep an eye. Interesting. Didn't see a lot. I'm not sure where that was, Yogi. I don't think it was in our picture. Cal will take over. Gladly take it at the 26 on first down. Alasco spinning. Works his way across the line of scrimmage and just across the 25 yard line of the Cougars. Daryl Monroe came up to make the stop. I think you'll see Washington State continue to bring pressure. Trying to force the ball out of Jared Goff's hand. Goff has been very accurate. 17 touchdown passes, three interceptions this year. 62%. He throws to the near side. Bryce Treggs, who's been his favorite guy tonight, is bumped out of bounds at the 15 yard line. <laughs> Taylor Taliulu has been in on a couple of nice plays. That time he was there to stand up tricks. First down now for Cal. Lasco slithers up the hash mark. Daryl Monroe brought him down. What you like about Cal's game plan right now is they're remaining committed to it. You saw last year, and you talked to the coaching staff, they had to just abandon the run game so often because they'd be down early. But even though they were down in that first quarter, they didn't flinch, continue to go to the run game, stick with the game plan. Steven Anderson in the slot to the right of Goff. They like to use Anderson in this situation. Goff fakes, throws over the middle, pass nearly intercepted, caught and then dropped. Charleston White was right there. He read that one, but just couldn't gather it in. This secondary is really young for Washington State. But they're extremely athletic. Look at Charleston White. His burst to the ball on that snap is what was so impressive. His ability to change directions to allow him to continue to gain playing time and gain confidence. No way Lawler could have caught that when Goff threw it just a little too far out in front. Brings up third and nine. Goff looking for Anderson over the middle. And that one a little too tall for Anderson and incomplete. Goff wanted a flag, but there aren't any on the field. Well, the whole stadium knows pressure's coming, and it comes right in Jared Goff's face. That's one as a quarterback you know you're going to get hit. 
Misses a throw, wanted a little contact, but not enough for a penalty. James Langford, who hit the winning field goal a week ago in the win over Colorado in the second overtime, is on. His longest a 47 yarder. The senior sizes this one up. The 31 yarder is up, and it is good. And Cal's on the board, trailing the Cougars 17 to 10 on homecoming night from Pullman here in the second quarter. The Utes with a fast start at UCLA. Cal fans here in Pullman celebrating. Just just being here and enjoying homecoming on a beautiful night when it's not raining and the temperature's nice. Sunny Dykes, the Cal Bears. What kind of emotions they've been through the last couple of weeks, losing in that, they call it the Hill Mary now down in Tucson, Austin Hill making the catch and then bouncing back a week later to win a double overtime at home against Colorado. Here's an onside kick, trying to mix it up. The hands team, the up backs, do what they do, secure it and just get down at about the 32 yard line. So many ways to gain some sort of advantage in the game. Keep these teams guessing. You know, Washington State have been close to breaking a couple of returns. Decide to squib it. Just play defense. Robert Barber. Look at Barber. 305 63 sophomore from Samoa. Connor Halliday will take over already with a couple of touchdowns. A lot of moving parts on that set. I'll tell you what's been impressive about this Cal team under new defensive coordinator Art Kaufman is they're really disciplined. You don't see a lot of gashes. You see players on the offense making big plays down the field because they've just won that battle at the receiver position. But it's not as though players are running wide open like we have seen in the past from this Cal, Cal Bears defense. Keep in mind, two backup safeties out tonight because of injury. Sebastian and McClure for Cal. Halliday trying to pick it apart. A developing play, and that one goes essentially nowhere. A gain of about three. River Craycraft makes the reception. Tony Franklin, he was on that staff in Kentucky back in the day. And Leach was there, and Sonny Dykes was a graduate assistant. What a terrific staff that was. On third and 12, Halliday zips one over the middle. First down, and maybe more. Don Williams across the 40 yard line. Cameron Walker came up to make the stop on another third and down beauty. Well, because of the injuries in the secondary and the amount of snaps his defense has played, you're seeing Cal play a lot of DBs tonight. That's Darius White. Hadn't played a ton early on in the season, but they're going up against veteran wideouts, guys that are used to playing, used to a variety of different coverages. And on that clutch third down, you saw Connor Halliday simply look off his receiver, look to the crossing route, and whoop, drops it inside on the dig route. A week ago on fourth down and 14 with eight minutes left in the game Washington State completed a touchdown pass from this man to Don Williams a 20 yarder and then later with about five minutes left in the game a TD pass to Vince Maley 81 yards for the go ahead to beat Utah men shaking up on the play you can see Williams over there on one knee and Cameron Walker is coming off here with some assistance to the Cal bench. This is tough for Cal's defense. When you look at the last two games, they played over 200 snaps. And that's essentially three games in two weeks. So this secondary, they've been doing a lot of running. Halliday on first down. Flings it to Jamal Morrow coming out of the backfield. The 5'8 redshirt freshman from Menifee, California. And they, knocked down by Darius Allensworth. Sorry, and they love him. They love more. They said they love his passion so much to the game, how he practices, how he prepares. I mean, this is a young backfield, two redshirt freshmen carrying the rock for Washington State. Second down and four, and Cal has seven guys up front. They bring four. Halliday slants a pass to the near side to Craycraft, and he's driven across 
the 24-yard line and out of bounds. Talk to Mike Leach about River Craycraft, and he lights up and says, "Reminds me a little bit of Danny, Danny Amendola. Remember him? Yeah. From Tech. He just has that savviness, knows where the sticks are at all times. Extremely short-handed, kind of Southern California." 6.36 left first half. And Washington State again on the move, leading here 17 to 10. Halliday trying to bounce it outside, but a terrific tackle. Devontae Downs comes up to make the stop. A lot of young players, 37 new faces for Cal in all phases of the game plan thus far this season. I mean, it's a complete overhaul of this program. And we've got a Cal Bear down up front. Mustafa Jalil, junior from San Diego, California, who missed all of last year because of an injury is back. See him at the top of the screen. Devontae Downs has been in on several one on one plays defensively for Cal tonight. You see Jaleel coming off. They're playing young guys. Devontae Downs, a true freshman out of Washington. AJ Greathouse, you've seen him, the true freshman, play at the corner. You know, in this conference, you have to play so many bodies just as the season goes on and the tempo in which games go. Second and nine. Two men in the backfield for Washington State. Wicks and Morrow. Both release. And the little back, Gerard Wicks. Jitterbugs to the far side and is run out of the 17 yard line. What kind of holiday? It's a simple completion, right? He does it every day, but look at his helmet. See him scan to the right, to the middle. Patient, patient. He knows where everyone's going to be. That's playing gradual level football. That's beyond the X's and O's right there of knowing where guys are, understanding how defenses are rotating, being able to mesh those two together, and then just take your simple check down as third and short. Third and three. Craycraft in the slot to the near side. Two by two with Jamal Morrow, the lone man in the backfield, and Halliday is going to feed it to Craycraft up for grabs. Caught in the end zone, but a flag down at the three yard line. They indicate touchdown, Washington State. Well, I don't know, this one might be coming back. River Craycraft hit some unique contact there with Allensworth. A lot of hand fighting there, Yogi. Pass interference, defense. That penalty is the climb. Touchdown. We'll take a look at it. I like the officials tonight. They're allowing the receivers and the DBs to play early on, but when the ball is in the air, there can't be any contact. River Craycraft, incredible concentration. You better lean into the DB, and then at the end, push off just a bit with that left arm. Tucking away from pressure. River Craycraft, I think one of the more creative receivers in the conference. And Darius Allensworth, the redshirt freshman. Learning by fire. Eight play, 68 yard drive, three minute, 22 second time of possession. Halliday, three touchdown passes on the night and counting. Washington State up 14. Of this offense. Mohammed will let it hop. Turns on a burst and is plowed under at the 31 yard line. How about these wideouts? I mean, you can't choose one receiver to double cover. You can't cloud simply one guy. Myers, Maley, Craycraft's going to hurt you on third down. Dom Williams, he's played exceptionally well. And, and they're really just doing what they do every day in practice. I mean, this is the offense. That when you come to Washington State, this is what they're billing. We are going to throw the football down the field. You have the opportunity to make plays in a lot of space. Remember, Gabe Marks has not played at all this year. He caught 74 passes a year ago and seven touchdowns. Goff back to throw. Steps up, throws over the middle. Ball in the air. Contact made. Trevor Davis, the intended receiver. Taliulu in coverage. 
Well, you're taught as a receiver to go back to the football. Any underthrown ball, try to make a little bit of contact because it's always going to get called. Defense number 30, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. And this offensive line for Cal is doing a better job. The last drive, eight play drive. They protect Jared Goff that last snap. He steps up in the pocket, slides to his right, throws it down the field. Set it up at the 45 yard line. Give Cal the first down. Give Goff the ball. He's 13 to 20, 132 with a touchdown. He's been busy back there in the pocket. Fakes the handoff to Lasco. Throws near side, little bubble screen developing, and Chris Harper is knocked down. The problem with those inside screens is you're hoping your offensive line is athletic enough to gain an edge against the defensive line, and that's not happening right now. This defensive line of Washington State is much more athletic than Cal right now. They've got guys that are flying to the football, and they've hurt the screen game specifically to the short side of the field. On second and eight. Goff spins away from pressure and throws in the vicinity to Chris Harper along the near sideline. A hurried throw. Well, like Xavier Cooper, I mean, he's a returning starter. He's on the lot trophy watch list, just keeps coming and coming. And Jared Goff, sensing pressure, spins out of it, get rid, gets rid of the football. Cooper, five sacks a year ago. He's a good one. Third and eight. Cal one of five in conversion on third down. Davis, the man to the near side. Goff steps up. Throws over the middle. This is going to be short. Treggs gathers it in, but short by about four yards. Daryl Monroe came up to get him. When he sees the pressure, steps up in the pocket, gets rid of the ball quickly. I think Sonny Dex thought about this one for a little while, but Daryl Monroe playing with a lot of energy and enthusiasm tonight. Cal was down 14 at half last weekend at home to Colorado and came out in the third quarter and scored two before you could bat an eyelash. So they won't panic. They've got a terrific offense. They've got to find some better way to protect Goff here tonight. This punt rolls into the end zone, but there's a flag way over here at the near side, down near the 20-yard line. There it is. Michael Batlin, a referee tonight. During the kick, holding number four on the return team. 10 yard penalty, enforcing the 20 yard line, first down. Connor Halliday, complete command of this offense, started off early, 90 yard bomb, the longest of his career. Came back in the red zone on the post route against single coverage, working the fade with River Craycraft. I mean, this is a guy who a year ago, Kind of had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. This year he's been pretty even. A week ago didn't play well. Got the win. This week starting off well and he just keeps climbing up the leaderboard. And he's throwing the seven picks this year. And he's here to the near side. One of a, a number of fine receivers. Isaiah Myers makes the catch. Well, the thing you got to do in the secondary now is you got to make sure you're not playing on your heels. You got to continue to play aggressive. If you're going to get beat, get beat playing aggressive. If all of a sudden, you start sitting back and your subconscious starts talking to you a little bit about these wide outs of Washington State getting the better of you, you're going to struggle and it will be a long night. Well, Art Kaufman rushing guys off the field. Cal's got four up front, three in the second level, four on the backside. They've got enough to go to work. Washington State will run it to the bottom of your screen. Gerard Wicks with the carry. Michael Lowe, he's the captain, he's the leader of this secondary, flying in the football. He's the guy in charge of the psyche of his back end on the field. 
Craycraft back in now for Washington State on a third and two deal. Movement off the edge, no flag. Halliday steps up, avoids a tackle. Sprints to his left. Wobbling ball up for grabs. That's going to be intercepted. Cal ball on the interception. Pyatt the interception across the 40-yard line. Griffin Pyatt, who already had three interceptions coming into this game, grabbed that wobbler as Halliday was chased in the backfield. But there is a flag down near the 20. Offside, defense. Five-yard penalty. Previous spot, Mains third down. Yeah, often as the quarterback, you think you're getting a free play. You see it at the top of your screen. It's a no-brainer. Connor Halliday avoids the pressure, thinks he's just going to take a shot. So rather than a turnover, Sonny Dyke sees his ball club settle in here defensively to face Halliday on first and ten with 2.30 left in the first half. Cal needs to stop here, and two minutes, 30 seconds is nothing for the Cougar offense to get it done. Halliday steps back, looking for a big one over the middle. Pass complete across midfield, and there's another long play and a lot of real estate. Vince Bailey. Keep an eye on your slot receiver, okay? You're just going to get a corner route right here, and that's going to allow him to slide right underneath Maley against this soft secondary coverage. A little delayed route, two high safeties. Connor Halliday throws that one off his back foot and just drops an absolute dime piece in between the safeties. And that's what happens when he converts off of penalties. It's third and short. Cal, the opportunity to potentially get the ball back. Doesn't work. They get the penalty first down, and this offense makes you pay. Gain of 29 on the play and a man down there for Cal. They're tending to him. Cameron Walker. And for the Cal Bears, they've played all right. It's just been big plays. Mm -hmm. But that's Washington State. You watch the Utah film, it's the same exact thing. Big plays. Throw into an area. When we talked to Connor Halliday earlier this week, he said his biggest area of growth is knowing where guys are going to be. He can understand what defenses are doing, and he takes that mental picture. Okay, there's two high safeties. I know my receiver is going to be in this general vicinity. He just has to take a quick glimpse at it and just put it to that area because he understands how defenses rotate. And that's, that's a skill that's very unique. In college football right now, quarterbacks are playing progression-based passing. That means they're going one, two, three, four. Very rarely are they matching up what defenses are doing, and Connor Halliday can do that in this system. So how much does Mike Leach allow him? What kind of latitude does he have as a quarterback to call what he's calling that? He's got the keys. He can get under the hood. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> so Walker's helped off. We go back to work on first and ten for the Cougars. Halliday steadies, throws, and that one is a low ball, but it is gathered in with two hands, looking it right into the mitts. At shoestring level was Isaiah Myers. This is a great catch. Misses the throw. Look at that. Look at the concentration, the front shoulder roll to make sure that he doesn't drop the football and get it to his body. Are you kidding me? That is concentration. That is strength in your fingertips. Halliday loops this one outside. Jamal Morrow on the run. Hesitates near the sideline and picked up another yard or two on that maneuver. They're going to say, though, that he stepped out of bounds at the 34. Talk to Mike Leach about recruiting, and this is what Morrow can do. This is a young man I'm back a couple years ago, doesn't make that catch. He gets spun around, catches a little ball coming out to the backfield. They are getting more and more athletic with each recruiting class. Morrow came in averaging 4.2 per carry. And Wicks at 4.4. That's not shabby. Here's Halliday on second and eight. Throwing to the far sideline. One of the few times he's not been precise tonight. Yogi, he's been good. 22 of 26, 337 and three touchdowns. With no mishaps, no interceptions. If there's ever an area of his passing game where he struggles a little bit, it's to his left down the field. It's those out routes. Those are hard to throw. That's why you don't see him being thrown a lot, even in the National Football League. Teams aren't throwing those routes. 
Here's Halliday back. Checking left, checking right. Sorting it out all day. Steps up. Pump fakes. Directing the traffic and then throwing it out of bounds. And obviously disgusted at uh, the inability to find a man. There is no foul for intentional grounding. The quarterback was out of the pocket. The ball went beyond the line of scrimmage. No intentional grounding, but how about he's got all day. He's cooking steaks back there. Yeah, he sure is. But I'll tell you, for Cal's defense, this secondary, they rotate a lot of players in, a couple banged up, to be able to stay disciplined against Connor Halliday and these athletic receivers. That, that's a critical play here late in the second quarter for this Cal defense. So fourth and eight, and you're looking at about a, you know, what, a 53-yard field goal or so. Last year, of course, we mentioned the shootout these two teams had in Berkeley, 44-22, the final outcome. Connor Halliday, well, he did what he does. Continues to throw the football down the field with the great precision and accuracy. And these receivers, they are so talented across the board. So many different ways to get the ball in playmakers' hands. And as the playmakers continue to improve, as they are this year, it puts more and more pressure on the defense. And that game was just an offensive wow. shootout. <laughs> We're getting a pretty nice one here tonight as well. Over a thousand yards coming into this game. Washington number one, Washington State number one at passing offense yards per game, 480. Cal was eight, 363. And of course, they both put points on the board. Cal averaging 47 at Washington State, nearly 34 points per ball game. So on fourth and eight. After the meeting, Washington State will go for it. And Halliday will throw a pass here to the near side. That is too low for River Craycraft. Would not have been a first down had he gathered it in. And so Cal will take over. So a big stop for Cal there. Washington State took over with 2.30 left here in the first half. Cal gets the ball back with a minute 20 left. Well, after giving up some big plays, this Cal defense doesn't break. No surprise going to River Craycraft on a critical third or fourth down. Fourth down in that situation. And Cal gets the ball back, and they're a quick strike offense. They're going to get the ball coming out of the half as well. All right, so protecting Jared Goff right now is the situation facing Cal. He's been hurried. He has been sacked. He sets up there, gets on his back foot, had a man, but underthrown. Mohammed had a step. Washington State doesn't rush any extra players, but they continue to get pressure in the backfield. Jared throws off his back foot, doesn't have enough juice on the ball, and he knows that he had a chance for a big play. So does Coach Leach. The stress on coaches. <laughs> it's amazing. Saw Mike McIntyre a weekend ago, the Colorado coach. Oh, he had a tough day. Back to throw now, Goff. Boy, he threw a bullet out there with some tempo that Anderson made a very good reaction to, gathering it in before he is pushed out of bounds at the 42-yard line. I will say this. This offensive line of Cal, totally different than what they were in the first quarter. First quarter, they were getting dominated. Pressure all the way in the back. Now they naturally set a little bit. That's the scheme that they operate with. So they always 6 to 12-inch foot step backwards. And it's a veteran offensive line, 84 starts between them coming into this game. Goff is back, quick drop, throws far side. There's Anderson. And he gets out of bounds just shy of midfield. That's a first down for the Golden Bears. And I like this. You want to go up against a too high defense. That's two deep safeties. That's what Washington State is doing. Work Anderson in the slot. Work number one, Bryce Treggs. Anderson will be at the top of the screen. Treggs will be at the bottom. I think they have an advantage matchup-wise. Tony Franklin said that the offense thrives off of Steven Anderson and the things that he can do. Here's Goff throwing near side. Pivoting to get it is Treggs. It gets out of bounds and across the 40 yard line. That is very close to a first down. Let's see where they spot it. That will be a Cal Bear first down. Keep it out. Here comes pressure off the edge. Trex is going to be wide open. That's a nice job by Jared Goff, understanding where pressure is coming from, understanding that defensive backs have to replace blitzing defenders. Easy working in the slot. Continue to do that. Find this Cal offense because something's going to open up. You'll be able to take your shot. Goff 18 and 27, 166 yards with a touchdown tonight. Washington State will call the timeout. 
You know, Steven Anderson is a guy who you'd love to celebrate in college football. Walked on at Cal, earned himself a scholarship. You talked to Tony Franklin, as you mentioned, Kevin, the toughest guy on this roster, epitomizes everything they're trying to do. His catch radius is as good as anybody on this team. He's one of those hybrid type players. He can play the F position. That means he can kind of be a tight end going in motion. He can work the slot. I really like his ability, his big play potential. If you want to play nickel, it's going to be hard because he's so big and they can run the screen game to his side or run the ball to his side. If you play base, it's always going to be an advantage with him against a linebacker. So a talented player who has surprised people around the conference, but nobody within this staff. Young man from San Jose, California, from the Bay Area. A couple of touchdowns on the year. Daniel Lasko's in the backfield now. Jared Goff gets him set with 59 seconds left in the first half. First and 10 Cal at the 40 yard line. Goff looking down the field. Has a man. Was that inbounds? Pass is incomplete. Trevor Davis out of bounds. That's tough as the officials are trying to watch out of bounds and if he catches the ball. Don't think so. Catch. That toe looks like it's on the way. You always try to teach receivers if it's anything near the sideline, you want to kind of pitter patter your feet just a little bit to try to confuse the officials. Just make it as though you catch the ball, but it's hard when you're sprinting full speed down the sideline. And Davis trying to get up off his feet to make the catch, so Goff goes back to work on second down. The Bryce treads the top of your screen in the slot. And Harper down to the bottom of your screen. Goff looks him off and throws to the far side. And that's too far out in front of Harris, incomplete. Now you're at four down territory here. I mean, you're going to get four downs to make a first down. You're not in field goal range yet. You got three timeouts. You have the ability to run the ball because the goal here is just to get the next first down because then you can manipulate the clock with your timeouts. Langford, five of eight on the year, 47 yarder is longest. Hit the game winner last year or last week against Colorado and he has hit a field goal tonight. Goff on third down. Again, fires this one to the far side. Harris makes a move, but he cannot elude the grasp of the defender down there, Charleston White, who's turned in another nice night. How talented are some of these receivers tonight? I mean, on both sides of the ball. Both sides, but you know, coming into this game, the story was what will the back four of both of these teams do? Washington State had, of course, all these young guys back there, and Cal had injuries to their backup safeties, both out tonight. And I, I think both clubs have responded well. They really have. You know, for Washington State early in the ball game, they got so much pressure with their front four, brought a variety of blitzes. I think Cal is short up a little bit on their offensive line. You know, the hold up for Jared Goff. Now it's going to be about execution. And in these two offenses, while they are different, and we call one the Bear Raid, one the Air Raid, and that, that's fun to talk about because of the backgrounds of both of the coaching staffs, both of them don't have a ton in their package. Cal will like to run more in Washington State. Washington State built off the vertical game. But regardless, both are built off execution in this spread attack. And on these third, fourth downs, these key drives, you want to come away with points before the half. That's what the name of the game is. Still outside the limits for Lankford, whose career high is a 50 yarder. Cal with 39 seconds left on fourth and five. Look at the top of the screen Anderson and Treggs. Trips to the right of Goff, who will throw to the left. Pass complete and caught inside the 25 yard line that is a first down for Cal on fourth and five Chris Harper looks it right into the mitts man to man coverage they throw an out route a timing route not an easy ball to complete against press coverage Chris Harper works the DB Charleston White who's had a heck of a game Treggs and Harper line up in tandem to the near side Anderson in the slot to the right of Goff who will throw on first down angling a ball into the end zone and Nobody home. Lasco came out of the backfield after that, but he was the nearest to the ball. Uh, and Sonny Dykes wants a PI, and I think he's right. Lasco, it's man to man. He's trying to just dip on the linebacker, gets grabbed, balls in the air.
17 seconds left for Cal. Goff is back. Sails one far side. That ball slightly underthrown. Flag thrown on the play. Charleston White was down there. They're going right at White now. That's Kenny Lawler who is there for the ball. Pass interference, defense number 16. 15 yard penalty. First down. So now you're in territory for that field goal for Cal. Take a look again here, Yogi. Oh, yeah, he wrapped him up. Well, there can't be any contact. And under a thrown ball, receivers are taught to put their foot in the ground and try just to fight back as hard as it can be to stop your momentum. And we ask both coaching staffs, how do you coach press coverage? Because right now, the advantage goes to the offense, but the reality is you can't have any contact when the ball is in the air. And if you do, it's going to get called. Three wides to the left of Goff. Here on first and goal with 10 seconds left. Goff's back, throws to the far side. Ball tipped into the air, but unable to come down with it was Maurice Harris. I know they like working the single covered side, but that is a long throw. Yeah. Jared Goff, extremely talented. They love that back shoulder throw. But there's really not a lot of room for error, and that's a long ways away. We saw Harris make a sensational grab last year against Portland State. We were there for that one, but not this time. Here's Langford. He'll size this one up from 26 yards out. He'll snap the hold. The kick is up. The Cowboy Bears get on the board here at halftime, trailing 24-13. Lankford, who had missed a field goal earlier in that game against Colorado, came back when he needed it for the game winner. And here at half, he has put Cal in striking distance. Down to the field and Lewis Johnson. Well, Coach, how does that last drive in the field goal change the complexion of the way this first half has been played? Uh, it doesn't much. We should have just finished our drive there was the biggest thing. They never should have got the ball. Halliday has been in complete control of your offense. Is there anything you'd like to see improve as you come back out here in the second half? Just overall, just everybody overall. And keeping the Cal offense and Goff in check second half? Yes. Yeah, we got to keep them in check. They're very explosive. All right, thanks very much. Kevin? Mike Leach, Connor Halliday, Washington State on homecoming night, leading 24-13. It's halftime in Pullman. Mike Yam is standing by the Pac-12 Network Studios. Washington State on homecoming night here in Pullman leading Cal 24-13. Moments ago, Lewis Johnson caught up with Sonny Dykes of California. Well, Sonny Connor Halliday went right down the field first possession through the touchdown, 337 yards so far on offense. What do you need to do to slow him down? Well, you we got to get a pass rush. You got to be able. To, we got to get some pressure on him, and when we don't, we got to cover. I mean, it's uh, that's right now when we're blitzing, they've they've taken advantage of it, hit us on some big plays. So we just got to do a better job making plays. Pass rush seems to be giving you guys a lot of fits on offense. How do you get Jared Goff more protection so you can get your offense going? We just got to settle in, run the ball a little bit better. Second half, it'll take a little bit of heat off of us. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Hey, look at this game. You don't see any turnovers, no interceptions, no fumbles lost for either ball club. But penalties certainly have been a factor. Four for 20 for Cal. Eight penalties, 90 yards for Washington State. That hasn't been a disruption, though, to this man, Halliday. No, he, he's done really well. He's executed on third down. I, I think for Cal, they've settled in on the offensive line a little bit, little bit, but they need to execute on third down. Jared Goff saw a lot of pressure early on. Didn't see it a lot in the second quarter, but continued to throw off his back foot a little bit. Missed a couple throws that he usually makes. Look for them to be more settled here in the second half. Continue to try to run the football. Find a little bit of balance in this offense. California to receive to start the second half of play. Mohammed caught it in the field of play, back into the end zone, and then charges out of the end zone and is knocked down at the 16-yard line. Well, everyone around the Pac-12 conference knows this front seven of Washington State and how dominant they can be, and they've been in the backfield a lot this evening. Put a lot of pressure on Jared Goff. Now, he's done a nice job of not taking a lot of sacks. Only one sack in the first half that we just saw, but 
They've disrupted his throws. They disrupted his timing. And with the coverage, the aggressive secondary of Washington State, it disrupted the passing game to a certain degree. Jared Goff, who was number six in the United States and pass completed, number 12 in passes attempted per ball game. Throws near side to Anderson, who breaks away from a tackler, galloping across the 50. Steven Anderson on his feet, deep into Washington State territory, and is finally driven out of bounds near the 25-yard line. Well, we always talk about halftime adjustments. Where did Cal have success in the first half? In the slot against these outside linebackers, the safeties of Washington State. They work Steven Anderson to the boundary, simple out route. Then he turns into an absolute beast with a stiff arm and down the sideline he goes. Cal coming out quickly here to answer the bell in the third. Goff low snap, hands off to Lasco, cuts back near side to 10, galloping and high stepping into the end zone. Daniel Lasco for the touchdown, and Cal under a minute, a 27 yard touchdown burst by Lasco. They're on the board. Well, the sign of a mature team is to come out and just handle business in the first drive of the third quarter. Cal down at the half. They come out, simple plays. One to Anderson on the out route, they give to Lasco, and that's just an aggressive run right there by that redshirt junior. Lankford, you had the extra point. The snap, the hold, the kick, it is up, it is good. And Cal is back in business on the road, trailing 24 to 19. Sonny Dyke said we want to run the football and here's why they can do it. Well it's a beautiful night here in Pullman Martin Stadium homecoming night Washington State leading this one and you get the sense that there'll be more points tacked on this board. Cal averaging 47, Washington State near 34 points per ball game, 24 20. And Cal, Yogi, just as they did last weekend, comes right out to answer the bell in the third quarter, down 14 to Colorado last weekend. They put two touchdowns on the board and tied the game before Colorado knew what had happened. Well, they've showcased a no flinch mentality early on in the season. They were getting early leads. The last two games they haven't, they've responded. Langford will run up this one, and he'll boom one down to Marcus Mason. And Mason will take a D. Washington State on the touchback will take over at the 25 yard line. We were just talking a moment ago, Yogi, defensively, Cal has got to disrupt to some degree Connor Halliday. He's been very poised, very confident, and uh, really not chased down, not really frazzled at all back there in the pocket. You know, and you can see the DBs, they're jumping around a little bit. You have to have that short memory. If I'm this Cal secondary, I'm bringing pressure, I'm playing man to man coverage. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, Rock Kaufman, I am bringing an extra defender on the majority of these plays to make Connor Halliday get rid of the football. Yeah. Two backs in to pass protect. Halliday, a quick strike to the far side. Tumbling down there after the reception, Isaiah Myers. You know, these pure progression offenses are just based a lot on getting the ball out, not really reading the defense. So if you're a defensive player, you want to get your hands on these wideouts. Just try to disrupt any sort of that pure progression that Connor Halliday is going through as he goes one, two, three, four, to his fifth read. Second and one, and the ball resting at the 34-yard line. Halliday sizes up a little slant to the near side and going right through the fingertips. Vince Bailey couldn't handle it. Cedric Dozier was in the vicinity, but that was a catchable ball. My simple man covers. They run a curl flat concept. Halliday delivers a dime. That's a play that mainly makes sin asleep for the most part. Brings up third down and one. First down, still on his feet across the 40, plowing ahead is Jamal Morrow. Michael Barton knocked him down. And again, in this offense, it's not the amount of times you run the football, it's what you average per carry. You can continue to get four, four and a half, five yards per carry. That's fine. That's exactly what this offense is built to do. Both Wicks and Morrow came into tonight's play averaging better than four yards a carry. Halliday on first down. Deep ball. 
And incomplete. That's exactly what Cal needs to continue to do. Bring a fifth defender, force Connor Howard to get rid of the football. You're going to see pressure. These secondary players, they're staying on top of everything. That means there is no deep ball. Staying on the upfield shoulder, that's the language that coaches use. So if you can bring an extra defender, forcing him to get rid of the football and staying on top, you have a chance. Halliday on second down. He is flushed out, will run, and sacks across the 46 yard line. Again, I think I really like the scheme. It's, it's only early on in this third quarter, but what the adjustments that Cal has made on the defensive side of the football. Nothing over the top. Try to disrupt the timing, bring an extra defender. Now they bring up nine to the line of scrimmage. Halliday to throw. And that one a little too tall. Cameron Walker, who's been nicked up most of the night. Boy, he's a, a game lad. He is back out there after being taken off the field a couple of times. He was in coverage that time. You know, a lot of new coaches on the defensive side. One is the secondary coach, Greg Burns at Cal. We were on the same staff at SC years ago under Pete Carroll. He's bounced around the country, but he has an aggressive mentality. We talked to him pregame, and he said, look, our, our guys, they have to continue to remain aggressive. We have to stay confident and just have a short memory. First drive of the third quarter, they've done so. Jordan Descalo to punt from his own 35. Chris Harper is back for the Cal Bears. Fair catch. And he was able to contort the body and come down with it at the 15 yard line. Cal with 12 22 remaining in the third has possession again trailing here by four. It'll be fun to watch him against Missouri in a week. Wild day today in college football. Goff got knocked down but not deli before delivering the goods to the far side. Chris Harper the catch. And a gain of about nine, Charleston White got worked on that one. And right now, just the feel in the stadium is that Cal has a little bit more energy. First half clearly was not that way, but right now they're playing a little faster because they're playing a little more sense of urgency. Two-play drive for a touchdown will do that to you. Here's Anderson who got it started on the last possession, makes the catch and gallops up near the 45-yard line. Again, Tony Franklin. Sonny Dykes going in at halftime, saying, where do we have success? In the slot. We know we have matchup advantages. Bryce Treggs, Anderson, let's keep utilizing them. It's an easy throw from Jared Goff, working in between the numbers. Anderson with a little extra sauce there at the end. Timeout on the field here in the third. Washington State's lead is four, but Cal is mounting some progress. Tonight's Pac-12 broadcast brought to you by AXA. Yogi Roth, Lewis Johnson, Kevin Calabro on the scene. And the big man from Merced, California in the audience here tonight as well. Big Daddy looking on as Cal down four goes back to work. Goff pump fakes, twitches, throws, wobbling ball, pass complete and a big one. A huge pickup. A real estate as Chris Harper gets under it and finally gets down near the 10 yard line. Well, it's a three by one formation. That means Chris Harper is isolated to the left as a slant and go. Been seeing this all around college football as a receiver. It's your favorite route up against Mr. White. They've been going at each other all evening long. Harper with the win. Set it up at the 15 yard line of Washington State. Give it to the near side. Here's Lasko with a block out in front. Picks his way through traffic. Untouched touchdown. touchdown. Daniel Lasko is second touchdown rushing of the quarter, and Cal is right there with the lead now at 26 24. Let's give a little love to 71, Alejandro Crossway. He may not put a body on a body, but he influences Charleston White just enough for Lasko to put his right foot in the ground. And well, that's a walk in, Kevin. You might have scored on that one, man. Yeah, I don't know. Daniel Lasko scores again, and it's the Anderson catch, followed by the Harper catch that leads to the Lasko touchdown. The first possession, very similar. Steven Anderson, long catch, and run after the catch, and then Lasko scoring. And here's Cal now with the lead, 27-24 as we go to break, but a lot of football left. 
Welcome back. Now keep an eye on the big fella. Mr. Crossweight, the right guard. He's going to pull, and all of a sudden, this defense is going to crash inside. And Daniel Lasko just says, hey, 71, I'm just following you. Distort that corner a little bit, and they walk in for six. But keep in mind, every snap, Jared Goff has the freedom to call a runner a pass. He sees the advantage, gives the ball to his back. The offensive lineman pulls. We got six. This is Morrow. Flags are down near the 10 yard line. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 48. Now the 10th penalty at Washington State tonight. Let's go down to Lewis Johnson standing in that vicinity. Oh, you talk about an emotional swing here. As I walked around the field, Kevin, the first half, Washington State had that commanding offensive lead led by Holiday, Halliday, and the defense that was stifling Jared Goff. It was incredibly loud down here, especially on the far side where I am right now in the student section. But now, as Cal has made these two quick scores, the touchdowns, the home fans, young and old here for the homecoming celebrations, they're, they're just stunned. They're still standing, but they're stunned. They go to work on their own five yard line, Lewis. They throw here to the near side. And the pass complete. That is good for very close to a Cougar first down. Mainly the reception. Dozier defends and they're about a half yard shy of the first down. I mean, Lewis, you're exactly right. And what you don't want now for Washington is feast or famine. You don't want to just have to depend on the big explosive play. If you could put together a drive, give yourself some confidence, give that defense some time to just gather their psyche on the sideline. Cattle scored the last 17 points to take a three point lead. Halliday back to throw. Arcs a pass to a man wide open. Craycraft the reception in the foot race. Craycraft 20 angles to the near side. Touchdown, Washington State. 85 yard catch and gallop. River Craycraft, a thing of beauty, that pass from Halliday. Watch River Gray Craycraft right here. You see your safety in the field. He's going to work him and then just work a simple post route. And that's what you do is just throw away from the defense, the corner, post. That is a textbook route. River Craycraft not known for his big playability, but he is known for his incredible route running. That's an example right there. And here we go, that crowd, Lewis, they're back in it. His second touchdown of the evening and his fifth of the year, River Craycraft. And the extra point added. And Washington State has a four-point lead with 10.36 to go here in the third. What an incredible route by River Craycraft. Working the safety, runs the corner, post, and then it's just a foot race. So unique within his route running. Usually that third down specialist, but Connor Halliday finds his favorite target one more time. The corner <laughs> puts that right foot in the ground. See you later. Working on Griffin Pyatt. He really had not been on defense. He was a converted wide receiver until spring ball. And then the coaches were telling us he only had one day of contact in spring ball. Hasn't seen a lot of route combinations outside of practice. Only played in a few games in his career at that position. River Craycraft is a simple technician as well as are the other receiver. There's so many different ways, so many different skill sets. But fundamentally, they'll run really well, really good routes. They can drop their hips and exceptional hands. I don't know how you cover that. Two bombs of 80 yards are better for Halliday tonight, Yogi, and he only had three entering tonight. And an onside kick, and that one flutters down near the 45-yard line. And will Washington State get it? Eric Powell. The field is the ball was kicked. 
punt more than 10 yards, kicking team's ball first and 10. Powell kicked it, and he recovered it. What's so impressive about this is you don't get 100 reps a week at this. You may have done it 15 times all year as we look to make sure it went 10 yards. Look at Powell just kind of boxing out. I think it's the right call. They'll review it. The field, that the kick went 10 yards, was recovered by the kicking team. Did it go 10, Yogi? I think that it did. You'll see Powell just kind of box out. His body is clearly 10 yards. It looks as though the ball is past the white line. Oh, boy. It's close. The nose of the football kind of just touches as he grabs the ball. But remember what it was called on the field. Is there conclusive evidence to reverse the call? Take a look. Cal thinks so after they got a look at the replay on the big board here at Martin Stadium. It's almost as though as that front nose of the ball hits the white line, that's when his hands grab it. Right there. I don't think you can tell if the left hand touches it earlier than wow. the white line. Inches. I don't think that's enough to, to overturn it. But how about the call by Mike Leach? Yes. A game of momentum. Lewis mentioned it. No emotion on the sidelines. Big play to River Craycraft for a touchdown. Come right back. And that's something you notice up in the booth. The assistant coaches on that front line of Cal, they're running early. They make After the call. further review, the rolling on the field stands. Washington State ball, first down. Eric Powell, the red shirt freshman out of Vancouver, Washington, with the bump and the reception. Well, here's what you wonder. Years ago, as in 1997, did Mike Leach and Sonny Dykes, they talk about sometimes surprising teams with <laughs> surprise onside at Kentucky in Lexington. And Cal attempted an onside kick in the first half. That's right. That did not work. So after Cal scores 17 unanswered, Washington comes back with a touchdown. Sudden change on the onside kick. And they go to work at midfield and a gain of a few on the play as Craycraft makes the reception over the middle. I think what we found is that when Washington State, they want to spread you out and just find isolation coverage. And when they do, they can expose you. For Cal, I think you got to continue to play zone coverage. Bring an extra zone defender, bring an extra man in pressure, but try to keep everything in front of you. Low well, and Pyatt to safety as Pyatt comes down to help make the play this time as they fan it out to Jamal Morrow out of the backfield. A gain of a few on the play. And it brings up third down for the Cougars. Tell you what, to play defense for either one of these teams, you got to have a short memory, let alone a memory at all. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Next play. Here, here, the Cougs now third and six. Halliday loads up, finds Craycraft over the middle, and he charges ahead across the 40-yard line. Route running is a lost art to a certain degree. But well, let's bring it back with number 21, River Craker. Watch him just fit in the zones. Kind of see him at the top of your screen. He just slides to his left. Quarterback throws it to his left shoulder. That tells River Craker to turn to his left. All the intricacies within the passing game are on display tonight. 458 yards, Yogi, for Halliday. Four touchdowns. He's back. He is hurried. He is throwing outside the tackle box to the near side, and it is incomplete. Quarterback is out of the pocket. The ball went beyond the line of scrimmage. Brennan Scarlett put on some heat. And I like that call. Brennan Scarlett, the retro junior captain, just bull rushing that offensive line. I think that's what you have to bring. Continue to bring an extra guy. Get the ball out of his hands. Because when they wait and those receivers get down the field, can run routes past 10 yards, it's hard to cover. One second down and 10. Halliday steadies, fires it in the dirt at about the 22-yard line. That looked like a short hop. Robert Lewis. I'm going to rule this an incomplete pass. Now Cal's going to a three-man defensive front, and they're allowing Brennan Scarlett, who usually can play the end position, to play at linebacker level. 
and he's coming from depth or he's covering the back out of the backfield. So a little bit of a different look for Connor Halliday. Their play is under further review. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. And looking at the replay, I didn't see anything that would reverse that, but they'll take a look. Now this does bring up some dirt as it hits there between the hands. Did he have was the catch complete before it hit the ground? I'll tell you, he does an incredible job. You always teach receivers Man. to front shoulder roll when you've got to dive for a football. But what it does when you do that is it gives you it, it looks it does exactly what it's supposed to do it gives a perception that regardless if it may have hit the ground or not right. you're rolling and the balls on top of you and that's an incredible job of Lewis it looked like a catch yeah I think so Can I change my mind I think you can yeah okay. <laughs> but how about the talent we haven't called his name all evening long Robert Lewis redshirt freshman out of Southgate California speaks to the confidence of Connor Halliday in this offense outside of third down it's not really about people it's about finding those spaces and Lewis does an incredible job that front shoulder roll and that's a drill you work on every day in practice catching the low ball falling down rolling over that front shoulder with both sides. Two hands under the ball, under control. Now, I'm not sure you could even tell from that angle, but the one we had a moment ago sure looked like a good catch. Yeah, Allen scored the 17 unanswered, two touchdowns here to start the third quarter. It seemed like energy had been sapped from Washington State. Then they come back with a big play, and then a sudden play. To regain possession of the ball, and they are in business again, leading at 31 27. I think we're going to see this one overturned, and it's great to watch two young teams that are building under these head coaches grow. 37 new players at Cal. Watch State only plays about 50 guys, the majority of them are freshmen or sophomores. This is more speed from a Washington State team than we have seen in a long time. Continue to recruit athletes. After further review, the receiver had his arms under the ball with firm control. Therefore, it's a catch. The ball will be placed at the 22 yard line. First down. So a 16 yard completion and Halliday continues to add to the portfolio 29 of 40 474 four touchdowns and he has not been intercepted. He has rarely been bothered back there. And he goes back to work on the Cal 27. Halliday lobs a slow one over the middle. Myers zigzags his way here to the near side and he is down inside the 10 yard line of the Bears. Keep an eye not on Myers but on River Craycraft. OK he's right here. He's going to run and stair step this defense. That's going to allow Myers to run underneath it. See those backers all of a sudden they drop a little bit. That's the little things that allow this passing game to go. Halliday looking for another strike checks the pile on right side throws underneath here to the near side back coming free out of the backfield but it's incomplete the intended receiver Jamal Morrow Halliday making good decision Jogi you mentioned it he does have seven interceptions on the year last year he was up and down this year there's more consistency better decisions in a situation like that instead of trying to force it in there on first down no doubt and I think when you look at interceptions especially with a guy like Connor Halliday you got to look at his attempts he attempted he completed more passes than 120 teams have attempted in college football coming into today's game Attempted 89 passes against Oregon last year. He broke Drew Brees Division one record. Halliday back to throw arcs a high one there. That is on the money and dropped. Robert Lewis made the great catch a moment ago that time it's in his hands for six. 
Oh, and that is an absolute dime piece throw. Again, up against the safety, running the corner route against Pyatt. In these offenses, they love to throw red zone execution. It's so much harder because the field is so much shorter. Leach sends in a play. Craycraft in the slot to the right. Halliday is back, looks that direction, lobs over the middle, extending out, but just shy of the goal line was Vince Maley. So Maley has Washington State down there at the goal line. Now, this is a little thing. Watch Connor Halliday where he throws the football. He throws it to Maley's right shoulder, telling him to turn to his right. The receiver doesn't know where the defenders are. Again, I think that's a graduate level throw by Connor Halliday, even though it'll convert the touchdown, be able to put him in that position. Hardy Nickerson down there may have saved six, but Washington State now is in business. Fourth and goal. The handoff bouncing it outside. Gerard Wicks in to the end zone. Touchdown, Washington State. All of that after Eric Powell squid the kick and recovered it himself to get possession for the Cougars. Look at Halliday. It's an audible. Remember, he's got the keys to this car. He can call every single snap, run or pass. He goes to the line of scrimmage. Zay Fells, I know I had a pass call. We're going to go run over the right side. Offensive line, get ready to roll. And they get a touch on that. He's incredible by this quarterback who has mastery in Leach's system. And the extra point added. And Washington State leads here by 10. 7.37 to go in the third quarter. So much has happened here in the opening seven and a half minutes of the third quarter. Unbelievable. Well, this is what it was built up to be, a back and forth affair. And that is, is exactly what it is. And this game for head coaches, it's such a game of feel. Mike Leach, he's been around for a long time. He could feel just like we could feel that energy, not really in the stadium. They score that long touchdown to River Craycraft. They come right back with the onside kicks. And whew, here we go. The momentum completely swings the other side. Just a wild day of college football. Of course, Mississippi today defeating number three Alabama, 23-17. Mississippi State crushes Texas A&M, 48-31. It went on and on. Arizona State with a hail mary to beat USC tonight. Stanford had the lead, up four with a minute left, and Notre Dame scores on a fourth and 11 with a touchdown pass in the end zone. So it's just a crazy day today in the landscape of college football. Here comes Harper. Here he comes. He could go the distance to the near side. In fact, running it back is Trevor Davis. Davis goes the distance. Trevor Davis all the way back. Hold on to your seat. And a flag flies post celebration here, the touchdown. Trevor Davis just puts another shock into the crowd here at Washington State. They're discussing where that penalty took place. Was this a flag on the celebration is what I'm wondering. Because it flies near the California bench at the 20 yard line after the men have been in the end zone. Touchdown is good. No. Sideline interference, California. That's a five yard penalty that will be enforced on the ensuing kickoff. Well, the rule this year in college football that's being enforced He's staying off the white yep. on the sideline. And clearly, Cal is this has been a game of momentum. They see Davis streaking down the sideline. The sideline's going off, and officials are trying to run down that sideline. So it's the proper penalty. 
Langford adds the extra point and a 100 yard return for Trevor Davis, the junior from Martinez, California. That was a thing of beauty. Well, keep an eye on Martinez because he just hits it and immediately goes into fifth gear once he gets past that first wave of Washington State cover guys. Later, and away he goes. The transfer from Hawaii, one of the most athletic players. You'll see at the bottom of your screen, see the official. Okay, thank you. I see a ton of people on that Cal sideline on the way. But he hits it and goes. The special teams, they made sure this was a major focus for them in the offseason. Sonny Dykes making sure that it was a big area of emphasis that he focused on and he met with his staff on, with his special teams coordinator, Mark Tummerdahl. This is a guy they talked about all offseason. He had to sit out last year, the transfer rule. One of the more explosive guys. And the day of college football continues to get crazy, man. <laughs> sure does. 100 yards. Mr. Davis. Let's get an update now from San Francisco and Mike Yam standing by. Well, here in Pullman, it's uh, it's hard to call this one. Washington State leading 38-34. Cal had scored 17 unanswered. Then Washington State comes back with the big strike. The onside kick. Cal answers. Let's see what Washington State can do here. A good special teams there as the Cougars are held. And they'll place the ball down at the 29-yard line. Well, what's your guess? Touchdown, two, three plays? <laughs> pretty much what we're accustomed to. We're getting word that uh, that is the fifth 100-yard kickoff return for touchdown in Cal history. Well, they definitely needed that one as opportunistic timing. And now, as a defense, I think you've got to go back to what you did. You've got to continue to bring an extra man in pressure, keep things in front of you, force Connor Holly just to get rid of the football. Deal with the completion. Just don't have to deal with the long completion. Cougars, two men in the backfield, Wicks and Morrow. They stay with a three-man defensive front. High snap. And a gain of a couple on the play. Jamal Morrow getting the call. Quickly, the Cougars back to the line of scrimmage, but they want to hold him there. Second and six now for Washington State. <laughs> Once again, simple combination route. He runs the. First and ten now for the Cougars. 5.31 to go in the third. Washington State leading 38-34. And here they are knocking on the doorstep again. Halliday flings it near side. One-on-one -on -one play won by Washington State. Calvin Green with a catch. Green, the freshman from Sacramento, California. He's a good one.
Cougars go back to work on first down. Halliday back to throw, angles it to the far side. And the ball may have been tipped as his arm was coming forward, may have made contact with someone down there. Nope, just a poorly thrown ball. Just got away from him. Incomplete. Four forty six left in the third and Halliday back to work with Washington State leading here by four. One man in the backfield back to throw slants a pass complete in the end zone. That is not yet being ruled a touchdown Isaiah Myers with the catch. I see Myers on the simple slant route. Oh yeah, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. As, as long as the ball is across the goal line, it's a score. So Myers already with the touchdown and I gets another. Here's the extra point as Washington State takes a 10 and now an 11 point lead. Coops have got it geared now with 439 left in the third. They've got the crowd back. The energy is back and the flow is back. Let's take a look at the quick and loans amazing play of the game. Well it's going to be Myers earlier in the ball game. Look at that. Perfect hand placement the strength of his fingers. Be able to hang out of the ball, the front shoulder roll, the ball skills on Myers, as well as the rest of this receiving core, incredible. And you got to know, in this offensive attack, they catch so many balls in practice, so many distraction drills, so many different ways to make sure they continue to sharpen their sword. 562 passing yards tonight, a Pac-12 single game record. And shoot, we're only at the 439 mark of the third quarter. More to come. When they found isolation matchups, man to man coverage, they're just taking advantage of. The Cal's brought extra people, tried to get to the quarterback. They've at least forced him to get the ball out of his hands. But he's playing like a senior should be playing. Can he do it again? Bouncing here to the near side. Unwinding is Davis to the near side. 50, 40, 30. Count him. Here he goes. Davis eases into the end zone. Touchdown, Cal. Davis has done it again. This one a 98 yard, a pedestrian 98 yard return for Davis. And it's the exact same return. It's return right. You go vertical for about 10 yards, put your foot in the ground, and you go to the right. They found something on film that they can exploit from Washington State. And to say the least, they've done it on the last two returns. I've never seen anything like that. I, I have not either. That, uh, that takes your breath away. And it has quieted the crowd here in Pullman. Langford adds the extra point and Cal comes right back at the Cougars. 45 41 Washington State's lead is 4 425 left in the third Trevor Davis the transfer from Hawaii. <laughs> what is Sonny Dyke saying? Remember they're wow. on the staff at Kentucky with Hal Mummy when things were extremely unconventional for the first time in the late 90s in college football. Tonight's game's pretty unconventional. Oh man. I'll say. Let's go down to Lewis Johnson. Well, Kevin, what did we say at the beginning of this game? You better get your Pac-12 popcorn. This has been unbelievable. I want to show you something. I keep the scores right here on this sheet, right? So, so far I have 14 scores. And look at that. I'm at the bottom of the paper. And we haven't gotten to the fourth quarter yet. How about that? Unbelievable game. <laughs> That's oh, great. Oh man, oh man. Just getting warmed up here in the Palouse on homecoming. It, big play after big play. 
Well, this is a game where you need to call your neighbors, call grandma, call your brother, your sister, whoever. Are you watching this game? Because this thing's wacky and it could get crazier. 45 41, 424 to go here in the third. Lankford's going to get into it. Let's see what Washington State can do on the return. They'll take a knee and bring it out to the 25 yard line. Here's a compilation of 198 yards in return. <laughs> And two touchdowns for Mr. Davis. It's pretty much the same path. Hop on the freeway and away we go for Mr. Davis down the sideline. I mean, you got to give the credit to this Cal special team staff. Their special teams coordinator, Mark Tummerdahl, he works it every day in practice. They worked it yesterday in the walkthrough. They found something they could expose. And when they set the return to the middle, a little bit to the left, they could break it back with Davis' speed and they score twice. Cougs have the lead. They've got a quarterback who is absolutely sharp, who's already set a single game record, who's yet to throw a touchdown, and yet there's just a little apprehension among the crowd as the flag flies up here. All up front. start, 61 offense, five yard penalty, makes first down. Well, what's crazier within those kickoff returns is right now Washington State coming in this game, they're first in the Pac 12 conference in kickoff coverage. So for Cal, you've got to give them a lot of credit finding the those elements to exploit on those two returns. Here's Halliday. Fires it far side. Craig Craft the reception shoved out of bounds before it could get to the first down marker. And it brings up second down short yardage. That's a beautiful throw though. That's over the top. Of an outside linebacker. What coaches say they say get the ball up and down quickly. Get it up over that back or get it down really quickly before the safety closes. That's exactly what Halliday did. Halliday tonight, 49 pass attempts, five touchdowns, and has yet to throw an interception. Swings it to the near side. Maley. 50. Maley with a burst. And finally, knocked down by Michael Lowe, the senior from Hyattsville, Maryland. Lowe saves the day coming up from his safety position. Well, it starts with Connor Halliday. He catches the ball, doesn't even move his feet, and throws the football. Then his receiver, Maley, he just does the rest. Gets a nice block, a missed tackle by Pyatt. And down the sideline he goes before Lowe trips him up. But again, this is commonplace. It's another big explosive play. 351 remaining in the third quarter. Probably a whole lot of fireworks left. Halliday looks right, scans left. Nice one on one play there. Oh, and that, that play would make Hardy Nickerson Sr. proud. Not getting juked by his son, Hardy Nickerson Jr. Third and West with the reception for Washington State. West will stay in the backfield. On second and 15. Halliday again loads up, flushed on the run 30. Across the line of scrimmage to the 20. And finally driven out of bounds just inside the 15 yard line. Halliday showing some pretty good wheels. You know, he's athletic enough. Be enough of a threat. It's not as fleet as foot as some of the quarterbacks in the Pac 12 conference, but he's always a threat to throw it. So, as a defensive player, you don't want to give up that big play. You've got to stay disciplined, keep it in front of you, even if it's holiday running. Gain of thir 13, but still short of the first down. So, third and two for the Cougars. They go to the ground and West. With a second effort, is able to nose dive across the 10 yard line. That's a Cougar first down. Well, Mustafa Jaleel has him in the backfield. Going to create a fourth down. You'll see him number 90 in the middle of your screen. Just an effort run, just an effort play. Hard to get a piece of the diminutive West. He's 5'7, the senior from Compton, California. What will Mike Leach dial in here on first and goal? Halliday, quick throw, going underneath Craycraft, avoids a tackler 10, and then 
into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington State. There's a response and a reply. The Cougars lead by 10 with 2.02 left in the third quarter. Well, how about the block that he picks up? The simple out route, man coverage. Okay, I got you again. Catches it, stops on a dime. Gets a block from his buddy Isaiah Myers, and, and that's what this receiving core is. They pick each other up. They do all the little things right. They're unselfish with the ball. The technician scores again. With the extra point, Washington State leads it here 52-41 with 2.02 to go in the third. He's going to run the out route. The right defense called for the play. That's two missed tackles in a row. One on a third down would have potentially forced a field goal. And another miss right there by Cameron Walker. And this is a young defense. This is a defense, keep in mind, in the two previous games heading into tonight, they played over 100, or over 200 snaps. That's three games in two weeks. They've been on the field a lot tonight as well. Sure, yeah. That's a great point. For Craig Kraft, his third touchdown reception of the night and his sixth of the year. Good young man, a sophomore from Orange County, California. Started 10 games as a freshman last year. And his first start was at Auburn. More learned experience that must have been. Now do you do you avoid at all costs number nine, Trevor Davis, who is waiting back at his five-yard line? So Eric Russell, the special teams coordinator for Washington State. And this one is bumped here to the up man at the 20-yard line. And a good return by Hudson, who was plowed under at about the 36. Wow. That's amazing. Look at the third quarter, all those points scored. You always feel bad for the special teams coordinator. They only get about five to seven minutes a day in practice, usually around the country. You got to be always <laughs> right. If a big play happens, it's your fault. You don't get a ton of reps. 56 points scored in the quarter. We still have just under two minutes remaining in the third. Goff with a handoff. Lasco surveys. And you can't leg tackle him. He leans in for a pickup of a few on the play. Daniel Lasco. Special teams coaches, they've got to have that same mentality, right? Next play, move on. Just kick it away from the guy. It's that simple, right? Just kick it away from him. They really do. You see Eric Russell, who you mentioned earlier, special teams coordinator. They never get the praise, they always get the flat. Goff is back, trips to the left, throws outside to Bryce Treggs, and angles to about the 45 yard line. Side the first down, but a big pickup there. Third and two. Jose Palacio on the edge to the left of Goff. Keep an eye on him. Goff will throw to the near side. That is complete to Maurice Harris. And Maurice is across midfield for a cow first down. Charleston White knocked him down. It's critical right now for Cal just to continue to move the ball. Even though this has been big explosive plays all third quarter long, continue to find some consistency. Settle down a little bit. The momentum has swung from each team. Harper nearly juggled it away, but is able to grasp it tightly to the chest at the 45-yard line of Washington State. I'll tell you, Washington State, in this last drive, they're playing with the energy they played in that first quarter. Flying in the football, Levin Hats rallying in the football, this secondary remaining aggressive. Remember, a very young defense, all freshmen or sophomores in the defensive backfield. Trevor Davis is on the field. He is wide to the left. Goff steadies, throws it down the middle. Pass complete! 
and just shy of a touchdown. Kenny Lawler extending, crawling down near the goal line. Finally dragged down at the two, and that's the way the third quarter ends with 56 points scored in the third. Washington State with a lead. Cow ball. They go back to work, throwing into the end zone incomplete as Jared Goff. Hard rush applied, and Goff trying to create on the run. They like that play down here in the red zone. They ran it a week ago for a touchdown. They ran it two weeks ago for a touchdown. Jared Goff rolling out to his off throwing hand. Usually hits the fullback. Watch, they did a nice job of covering it. Second down, ball resting at the two of Washington State. Goff shovels it off to Lasco, and a terrific one on one tackle in the backfield as Lasco is dragged down. Daryl Monroe is there. This is a tricky play because when you give the ball to your back, he doesn't have any momentum. It worked earlier for a touchdown in the third quarter on the run by Lasco. You got to block it up right, and Monroe, he shot his going and went right through the offensive line. And credit where credit is deserved, Daquan Brown with a stop. Here's Goff now going back to work, third and goal. Goff is back, lobs it to the end zone, over the shoulder, pass complete. Bryce Treggs, touchdown, California. That's the way to get the fourth quarter started. <laughs> well, they utilize the short side of the field. Bryce Treggs in the slot. What they teach receivers in the red zone is run to the back pile. And for quarterbacks, just put it there. It's a timing route. Throw it in the back pile, and he'll make the catch. And that is called full extension. Another technician at the receiver position. James Langford on to add the extra point, and California trails on the road, 52-48, 14-12 left in the fourth quarter. And Jared Goff, 30 of 44, 399, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Great night for Mr. Goff. <laughs> well, every night, every Monday night on Sports Report, they do this thing called the 12 best plays of the weekend. They might just have to take our entire game. <laughs> just take the game, though. Ashley Adamson and J.B. Long, just put it in your show, because there are highlights for days, and we're just getting going here in the fourth. Bryce Treggs with his first touchdown of the evening, fourth on the year. Jared Goff now with 20 touchdowns against three interceptions for the year. These kids got to be tickled at the way this thing's laid out tonight as well. Cal, of course, is no stranger to high-scoring games, considering what they have been through the last two, losing at Arizona 49-45 in the Hail Mary, and then winning in double overtime against Colorado last weekend 59-56. So much of this game is mental. You just got to keep hanging. Don't tighten up as the game gets closer to the end in a high-scoring affair. Cal's going to bump it along the turf, make things difficult for Jamal Morrow, who spun around, still on his feet, though, trying to turn the corner, goes up the middle, high step into the 40, and finally brought down. Terrific return by Morrow, who wouldn't take no for an answer. Well, it's Darius Allensworth. You'll see him number two right at the end. He'll pop into your screen. He saves the day. See Morrow continue to cut back and just grabs him there at the last second. Just another 600 yard afternoon or evening for Connor Halliday. And the record right out there, David Klingler, 1990s. Just over 700, 716. Halliday over the middle. Pass complete. Craig Craft at his own 42 yard line. Is smothered. As much offense has been showcased on the field, I think when we walk out of here in 13:45 or so, it's going to be the team who comes up with that one defensive stop. Yes. As Cal did last week against Colorado down there in the goal line. Rita, Rita, Rita. And even Washington State against Utah with the pass breakups in that final drive. Halliday near side. And 
was it caught? No. Incomplete. Isaiah Myers down there trying to scoop that one up. Darius White in coverage. Yeah, that's an easy drop. Brings up third and six now for the Cougars. Cal brings five. Halladan loads far side. First down. Flag flies at the 40 yard line. Calvin Green, he's made a couple of catches tonight. Calvin Green. True freshman in Sacramento. Coach Leach talked about him this week. Talked about his development and his the ability to really explode. That's interference. Offense number one. 15 yard penalty. Remains third down. Well, it's going to be Vince Maley. He'll be at the top of your screen. You'll see it right at the top there. Interesting. Yeah. You know, this has been a really physical game on the outside with these receivers and corners and. 11 penalties on Washington State tonight Yogi. Eight in the first half played a pretty clean third quarter. Third and 21 now for Halliday. He seems to thrive in these kind of situations. He throws under. And California with four players converging. On a carrier Jamal Morrow. Brennan Scarlett goes down on the field. He blitzed on that last snap. Scarlett missed all of last year with a broken left hand. Then he got an infection in the hand. And his year was done. He is one of the team captains on this cowball club. You see him on the left side of the screen. He bring, comes on a blitz from depth, and you hope it's nothing serious. Unbelievable around college football. Oklahoma goes down, AM gets beat up. Wisconsin loses to Northwestern, who Cal simply put it on week one. I mean, it's, it's a lot of talent out there. I don't think it's parody. I think it's talent. Harper settles under this one at his 10. Finds a seam and is tripped up at the 29 yard line. And flags fly. Fifty six points scored in the third quarter of this game. Washington State leading by four. Another flag on the play. Washington State has been penalized 11 times, 116 yards. Cal, five penalties. Both clubs have taken care of the football. No turnovers on either team. During the kick, holding on the receiving team. That penalty is enforced half the distance to the goal from the end of the kick, which was the 10 yard line. See the special teams coordinator, Mark Tummerdahl of Cal. Two huge returns in the kick return game for touchdowns by Trevor Davis. That penalty is going to hurt. So I think right now we're talking field position game. Clearly, big plays are always a potential with both of these offenses. But I think you're going to see Washington State dial up some blitzes like we did in the first quarter. Daniel Lasco is the offset back. Goff looks at pressure, throws out of it. Terrific catch made by Steven Anderson out near the 10 yard line, and that gets him a little breathing room, a gain of four on the play. 
They're going to continue to work the slots where Anderson has an advantage, where Bryce Treggs has an advantage. Second and six for Jared Goff, who grew up in the Bay Area, went to Cal Games, sat there at Memorial Coliseum watching the Cal Bears play college football. His dad, a baseball player, All-American at Cal. Rolls to his left, steady, throws near side, pass complete to the near wing. Bryce Treggs got under it, and a big pickup there up to about the 33-yard line. Well, you love working the slots, and this is a simple corner route. They've been calling this all afternoon right there, but watch the quarterback as he drifts a little bit to his left, but resets his feet. Jared Goff resets, drops a dime, moves the sticks. Goff unloads to the far side, a one-on-one -on -one play. This is Lawler getting across midfield. You don't want to get yourself in isolation covered, but you know what? Sometimes that's what it is, man to man. And in the quick game, it's mono a mono. And Lawler, with his range, his ability to catch the ball, his physicality for line of scrimmage, it makes it easy. Now Cal across midfield on a first down. Goff to the near side. This is Davis trying to shake the tackler. Can't drag down across the 45-yard line. Charleston White came up to make the stop, and now White, redshirt freshman. Lamar, the redshirt freshman. And Daquan Brown, the sophomore. Under a lot of pressure on second and six, facing an elite quarterback in Jared Goff. Vic and Weary, freshman, power back from Mizzou City, Texas, is in the backfield now for Cal. He'll take the handoff and plows up the middle and across the 40 yard line. They wear a 220 pounds. They loved him coming out of high school. They thought he would potentially be the feature back. Daniel Lasko won the job. But keep in mind, Jared Goff, similar to Connor Holiday, he has the keys to this offense. He gets given a run and a pass play every snap. And then he makes the decision where is their green grass? Where do we have a numbers advantage? Third and one. Again, they go to Inweary, and he's across the 40-yard line. He's hunting that first down marker. It looks like he's about a yard shy. And they got Vic and Weary out of Texas. They beat Michigan on him, Missouri, TCU. Here's Luke Rebenzer in for the first time tonight. Freshman from Scottsdale, Arizona. Rebenzer. In a quarterback now, he's a guy who is a, a very accomplished high school passer, but they have used him in running situations, red zone and short yardage deals. They're going to roll him out. They'll reverse it here to the near side. They've got to get it past the 40. They do for the first down. Maneuvering along the near side was Chris Harper, and he got belted. Uh, Spike Dykes, how mummy. <laughs> They're watching this game from somewhere saying, well, look at that creativity. Tony Franklin, Sonny Dykes, not afraid to pull the trickeration out. We've seen a little bit of everything. Then Goff checks back in at quarterback for Cal on first down. Ball resting at the 30. And the handoff comes to Lasko, who was so good when he gets to that second level of putting on another burst of speed. Washington State, though, with a gang tackle there. They drag down the tough Lasko. They had a chance to talk to Tony Franklin during pregame. He said, Coach, what's one unique key to this game? And he said, it's pretty simple. We've got to be able to run the football. Early on in this ball game, they weren't going to be able to run it. They couldn't throw it. They couldn't deal with the pressure. But this offense line of Cal, they're playing with some confidence. A Pac-12 single game record, 643 passing yards. Trevor Davis of Cal, two kick returns, one a 98-yarder, one a 100-yarder, both for touchdowns. First time a Cal player has done that. And the two teams have combined for better than 1,100 total yards. We're not making it up. Goff back to throw, angling end zone. Touchdown, Golden Bears, Kenny Lawler. No! Couldn't handle it. Sonny Dyke says, what happened? Looked good. 
Kenny Lawler's been matched up against Charleston White all evening. He runs a simple go route. Oh, and how about White fighting? I mean, Terrific this is what play. you. This is a 12 best. Put a hashtag in front of it. I mean, because this is exactly what you coach defensive players who just fight and claw all the way to the very end, and that's what happened. Well, they will review this one. Did he have possession? And was he in the end zone when he caught the ball? Now remember, a tie always goes to the offense. Possession there. Oh. Feet in bounds. Yes. I mean, you can, you can yes. make an argument who has possession. But clearly, the tie goes to the offense, but. Looks like Lawler's got it in his grasp. As Charleston White tied him up. The ball's not flicked free until they actually land on the on the ground. He's got possession here and his feet are in. The catch process is defined by controlling the ball. After further hands. review, the ruling on the field stands. You got to control the ball with your hands through a period of time. Or you can exhibit, you can do something common to the game. That's the rule, straight out of the rule book. So essentially, you got to make it all the way to the relative tuck. And if they were both holding on to the football when they landed, I could see the argument. I don't yeah. think that he had it. Stripped as he's going to the ground, you think? Yeah. I okay. I, to overturn it, I don't think there's enough evidence. Now, if they called it a touchdown, I could see them remaining with a touchdown. Well, Cal goes back to work. It brings up third and one for Cal. Ruled incomplete. 841 remaining. On the road, down four with possession. I think they'll take this situation. Here's Goff back to throw. We're going to go right back to the playbook. Looking at over the shoulder, making the catch, and into the end zone is Bryce Trex. And that is a terrific catch. Great ball, terrific catch. And Cal has taken the lead. They come right back on third and one. After that attempt in the end zone to Lawler was denied. Oh, my goodness. This one definitely <laughs> has earned a 12 best. The opposite corner, Jared Goff says to Bryce Triggs, hey, man, just run to that back pylon. I'm going to dial up a dime for you. Oh. Here is Langford. Very important extra point. That's black. That was blocked. Not that with 834 remaining in this game, three points means anything, but nonetheless, it's blocked. So it's a two point lead for Cal with much more fireworks to come here on Homecoming for Pullman. Cal Bears by two, 834 remaining in this one. Now, Six points scored between these two clubs. We knew they could score coming in. Cal averaged 47. Washington State averaged just under 34 points per ball game. Halliday six touchdown passes. Goff four tonight. Here is the boot. Morrow is under it. He has an opening and finally tripped up at the 31 yard line. Now let's get an update from Mike Yam in San Francisco. As we are back to work here with Washington State taking over on first down. Morrow scoops to the left side. He's hemmed in. And he has dropped down near the line of scrimmage. So here's what we have for you so far in the Pac-12. Yogi, what do you see there? Well, I see a lot of predictions going awry mm -hmm. early on in this season. I mean, what a weekend. Stanford, a tough loss to Notre Dame. Cal, they're playing Washington State. They're going to be the leader in the North after tonight's outcome. And it, it's going to be interesting. You just don't know. I just think this is so competitive top to bottom in this Pac-12. Week in and week out, it's just going to be awesome on the Pac-12 networks. Halliday's already set a single game passing record for the Pac-12. They go ground, and with it is Wicks. He bounces outside for a first down. Gerard Wicks 
along with Jamal Morrow doing good work in the backfield for Washington State. Again, Washington State's running attack, it's not about the amount of carries they have, it's what they average per carry. Mm -hmm. They continue to pick up four, five, 10, 12 yards per carry. That's success, even if they only run it 15 times tonight. Halliday unloads. Another terrific catch. Turned in by Isaiah Myers. Ball got down to the ground, but is recovered by Washington State. Darius Allensworth was in coverage down there for the Cal Bears. Haven't seen an interception tonight. Nope. No turnovers in this game. No turnovers. The only sudden change you could argue is a turnover is the onside kick. But a really clean game thus far. But these teams are no, they're trying to strip the ball to create some sort of sudden change. Well, as you mentioned a moment ago, how many times do you see big plays on special teams during the course of a game? We've seen four big plays here tonight. And a whistle. We'll survey that. They're getting an earful from Mike Leach and from Connor Halliday on second and one. Take a look. You see the ball gets stripped. Darius White reaching in there trying to strip the ball. Had he lost control before he was going to ground? After review, the rolling on the field stands. Washington State retains possession. Cougars have one timeout. Cal all three. 7.04 to go fourth quarter. Cal with a tenuous two-point lead. Halliday steadies. Flicks it near side complete. And a gain of a few from Don Williams. Don Williams, but uh, not enough for a first down. Cal, they're going back to what they've done pretty much all second half. Keep two high safeties, keep everything in front of them. Not allowing for a lot of isolation coverage. Give up that under any completion. Cougars stand up two in the backfield alongside Halliday throwing far side screen pass across the 30 yard line. That's enough for a Washington State first down. Vince Bailey coming up on our Dr. Pepper post game report. Mike Yam, Rick Neuheisel, Curtis Conway, Anthony Heron. They sort it out for us. They're going to recap all the action on this full Saturday of college football. The Dr. Pepper post game report coming up next. Of course. The weekend started on Thursday night at Autzen Stadium in Eugene when Arizona, undefeated Arizona, registered a shockwave and a big win. Halliday slings one over the middle. Maley off his fingertips incomplete. Michael Lowe in coverage for California. If we add an extra defensive back, and Austin Clark will come to the sidelines for California. On a second and ten situation here for Washington State. Dallas, Dallas. Halliday has now attempted 60 passes. He'll hand off up the middle. And a big game there down to the six yard line. Stepping in was Gerard Wicks, a gain of 21 on the play. Boy, the seas just parted, Yogi. Well, it's a great job, Connor Halliday, because he recognizes that the safeties are going to drop. They line up close to the line of scrimmage, and right before the snap, he can anticipate them dropping into coverage, knowing it's going to be a two-high defense. When you see a two-high defense, you want to run the football. Remember, he continues to make all the calls in the line of scrimmage within this offense. And a great call there, because he gets him down first down at the seven. Back to throw. Halliday loads up, fires a bullet to the far side that Wicks can't handle. Check that. It was Calvin Green, the intended receiver. Brings up second and goal to go now for Washington State. 
Keep an eye on River Craycraft, the bottom of your screen in the slot. Gonna be a man coverage. Boy, he threw that on a dime where only, only his receiver could get a piece of that. And gathering it in is Isaiah Myers for the touchdown Cougars. Well, it's a double slant concept. They've been running it all evening long. River Craycraft clears it out. Man-to-man -man coverage. Flattens out the slant. It's a perfect pass. That's exactly what you're taught at the wideout position. Seven touchdowns thrown by Halliday tonight. That is the third to Myers. Craycraft just caught Fire three as well. Under further review, throwing on the field is a touchdown. Keep an eye on Myers. He'll run the slant and review if he had control of the ball. Location of the ball is perfect. It's low away from the defense. How about the battling, though? Yeah. Regardless of if they overturn or keep it as a touchdown, these DBs on both sides are playing completely through the snap, fighting and clawing. Yeah, it's a touchdown. Come on. The possession laying on his back. Right there before it's pride free. Again, it's the catch process. The letter of the law. Control the ball with hands through a period of time where you can exhibit, you can do something common to the game, such as tuck it. He catches, tucks. They battle. He falls. I think he still has control of it. I yeah. still think it's a touchdown, Kevin. Hold it, hold it to his chest, and then it's flicked free. How about the night Halliday's having seven touchdowns? Of course, last weekend, Jared Goff had seven, six of them in regulation, and then the seventh added in overtime. It's another weekend of the Pac-12. Oh, my. Well. You can see. You can see if the longer the referees take, you think they're probably going to overturn. Remember, they called it a touchdown. Yep. He has it initially, then kind of loses control, and then he gets punched out at the end. And it looks like Halliday's going to come back out. After further review, the receiver did not have firm control of the ball through the process of the catch. Therefore, the ball be placed at the seven-yard line, third down. Well, I'm 0 for 2, partner, here in the fourth quarter. Well, the process of the catch, they referenced it. So the offense is summoned back to the field. I wouldn't be shocked if they called the same exact play. It's third down, and the ball's resting at the seven yard line of the California Golden Bears. Cal leads by two in Washington State. In a rare moment, we'll actually huddle up here to go over things. Now, Halliday has him set at the line of scrimmage. And there is a foul. Timeout, California prior to the snap. It's their first charge timeout. This will be a 30-second charge timeout. What was it Cal saw there, you suppose, Yogi, that they used the timeout with two remaining here? Well, I think it's making sure they want to get on the exact same page. Right now, Essentially what Washington State does in the red zone is they run slants from corner routes. You'll see the safety pied. He'll drop over the top right on the snap. Cal calls a timeout. 
It looked as though they were going to run the combination they've ran multiple times tonight. Corner route by River Craycraft and underneath route. And versus too high, it's exactly what you want because your backer is going to have to carry River Craycraft, the, the outside linebacker, which will give you an opening inside. And I'm a fan down here in the red zone. Play man to man, four across, take away the slant, and just go compete. Wicks is the man in the backfield. Halliday with a snap, movement up front, no flags. He's back. He checks left. He rolls right. Now there's a flag in the end zone. And Halliday is knocked down right in front of the Cal bench inbound. But man, he got the breath knocked out of him. Now the flag is thrown clear at the other side of the field in the end zone. Work. See Brandon Scarlett. Chasing down Halliday. Impossible hold on low in the end zone. Halliday visibly limping out there as Brennan Scarlett pancaked him. Scarlett 260. Halliday's going to be fine. One of the toughest guys in the conference. During the pass, holding on the defense, number five. Ball be placed half the distance to the goal. Penalty results in an automatic first down. You called it Michael Lowe, the guilty party, in the corner of the end zone. So first and goal now for Washington State. With a chance to add on and take the lead back. Two wides to the left, two men in the backfield, Morrow and Wicks. The handoff is to Wicks, who falls shy at about the one yard line. Well, if you flash back to a week ago in double overtime inside the five yard line, what does the Cal defense do? Four straight stops of Colorado to win the game or put themselves at least in position to win the game when they got the ball back in that second OT. So they like this little area. They're comfortable down here. Seven offensive linemen up front now for Washington State. One man in the backfield and one wide out to the left. They'll lob it that direction on Halliday. The ball is picked off by low, but there was a flag flown in the corner of the end zone. That'll be interference. Yeah, that, that's 100% P.I. on Cedric Dozier, and it's hard. It is so hard to play corner right now in college football. That's interference, defense number 37. Ball be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. The challenge is that you're allowed to get your hands on a receiver, but look at Connor Howard. He, it's catch and throw. You don't even have a second to get your hands on the wide out, and Cedric Dozier right off the bat, he doesn't get his hands off of him. They're on the entire time. And these kids, they're just competing as hard Correction. as they can. We'll go half the distance from the goal. Mainly the intended receiver. So it'll bring up first down again. Washington State is knocking on the door. Halliday the handoff and Wicks in the end zone. Touchdown Cougars. Cougars take the lead back 58 54 419 to go in this game. Both of these offensive staffs preach execution. We've seen incredible execution on the offensive side. Eleven plays 69 yards in the time of possession four minutes. And the extra point. 419 remaining in this one. It's Washington State a five point lead. And that's a great drive. I mean, what have we been talking about? Big plays, explosive plays. 18 plays over 20 yards tonight we've seen on the field, on special teams, on offense. We don't talk about those long drives. Over a four minute drive right there for Washington State, executing down after down.
couple third down conversions. Cal playing solid defense, keeping things in front of them. Didn't give up any cheapies. There's just a couple penalties down there inside the five. They just a couple PIs, a holding call. Just gave them too short of a field. It was too easy. Connor Halliday, 669 passing yards tonight. That is third best in FBS history. Mike Leach down his third year. You can bet he doesn't want to kick the number nine, Trevor Davis, who's already turned, returned two for touchdowns, a 98 yarder, a 100 yarder. You, you can't. You can't kick to him. But you want to be careful. You don't give Cal short field. 419 left. They can put together a drive. Remember, Cal, they like to run the football. They've got two timeouts. They're in good situation right now to get the ball back. Kick it to one of the up backs. And a fair catch. It's going to be spotted down at the 29 yard line for California. Offside on the kicking team, five yard penalty, first down. We talked to Jared Goff. <laughs> And he loves these moments. You know, I've known Jared for a long time and asked him why he wears number 16. And he said it was when he was in fourth or fifth grade. He got a Joe Montana jersey and he's loved 16. You know what Joe loved. He loved comebacks late in the ball game. Well, Jared, <laughs> you got your stage, brother. Well, where is this Jerry Rice? Who's it going to be? Goff is back and wires one to Lawler to the 40 yard line. Boy, Goff has been sharp tonight. 35 of 50, 471, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Halliday a rating of 193. Goff tonight a rating of 175, both off the charts, just as we expected. Two terrific quarterbacks. High scoring teams. Cougars by five. Goff. The handoff. This is Daniel Lasco with some real estate across the 45 before he is pounded down at the 49 yard line. That's a first down for Cal. Stops the clock with 353 remaining. Cal has two timeouts left. Tony Franklin goes to work. And this offensive line, they have responded. That first quarter, they did not play well. So much pressure on Jared Goff. They struggled in the run game. Goff sets up, scrambles on the run as a man. That pass batted down. Bryce Treggs, the intended receiver. Lamora came over to get a piece of the ball and flick it away. The redshirt freshman from Port Arthur, Texas. Well, I think Jared, he waited a hair. Almost threw it early, had a chance. He pulled it back, got another two steps and let it go. And it allowed the defense, Lamora, to make that play. Brings up second down and 10. Double move. Davis the catch. Davis gallops into the end zone. Touchdown, California. And it looks like he stayed in bounds. When he made that double move, Yogi, for a moment it looked like he may have gone out around the 20 and then come back in. I think they're going to say that he went out. The official's hat, he threw it when they throw it. I mean, somebody stepped out of bounds. Rolling on the field as the receiver was forced out of bounds, came back inbound, legally caught the ball, results in a touchdown. Cal, touchdown. Watch it again. Third touchdown of the night for Davis, two via kickoff returns in this one a shocker as Cal takes the lead 60 59. Unbelievable it's an out and up. You see him gets forced out with that left hand. His left foot comes out just a little bit. The rule is if you're forced out you can come back in reestablish yourself and still touch the ball. How of the night of him. Daquan Brown had his hands full there because Goff pump fakes. 
and then the move. Well, Tony Franklin timeout, down California, there with. That's their second. This will be a 30 second charge timeout. So Cal uses another timeout. Now, Tony Franklin was down there in conversation with Sonny Dykes. Do we kick it or go for two here? I think you, you go for two. Trying to make a three point game, see if you can play defense. How about the evening? Trevor Davis, the transfer from Hawaii, kicks it off with a simple 100 yard kickoff return to spark his team when momentum swung clearly in Washington State's favor. Washington State gets the ball back, they score. They kick it to him again. He says, all right, I won't go 100. I'm just going to go 98 this time. <laughs> Trying to get myself on that 12 pass highlight reel. Down the sideline he goes. Then here again on the pump pick, the out and up man to man coverage. Finds himself his third score. What so Cal goes reel. for two, obviously, to make it a three point game with 318 remaining. Here in the contest, and Goff comes back out onto the field. Goff tonight is fifth touchdown pass. Is Daniel Lasko in the backfield? 210 pound wide shoulder back out of Houston, Texas, where they use it. Trips to the left of Goff. Hunting the end zone for two. Will they get it? No. The ball over the head of Treggs incomplete. So Washington State's Connor Halliday will get it back trailing by one at home on homecoming night with 318 to go in the ball game. Well I don't think you could write the script any better than that. 50 year senior he talked to us earlier this week talked about how every time he plays here he could just appreciate it even more because he knows you don't have all the opportunities you did when you were a younger player. And he's put on quite a show this evening. Remember, he calls every play at the line of scrimmage. Started off off the bat with a bomb. And he's just really found a variety of his receivers all night long. River Craycraft throwing it up. Again on the corner post to River Craycraft. A variety of playmakers within this offensive scheme continue to make plays for him down the field in critical downs and distances. Connor Halliday has put this team on his shoulder time and time again. But tonight he hasn't had a dip emotionally. He's played extremely even keeled. His personality is the way this team goes. When you talk to the coaching staff, that's where he has grown the most this past offseason. And he has simply gone off today and he's going to get one more chance. Marcus Mason to the far side and to the near side is Jamal Morrow in tandem waiting for James Lankford to get into this one. He's going to drive it along the turf. Bobbled but grabbed at the 30 yard line and that's where Washington State will take over now with 317 remaining. Interesting for Cal on kickoff team. <laughs> They've done that a couple times just squibbing it. Washington they didn't break any but they were close early on no chances being taken giving up a big return by the Cal Bear. Well Halliday has been outstanding tonight 669 a Pac 12 record six touchdowns without an interception he has spread the ball around nine receivers. He is back to throw gunning far side. And that pass was it complete or incomplete? Cal had three defenders in the vicinity. They say no way, and it was low. Defense mainly incomplete. Brings up second down. Yeah, that's the right call. Yeah, he dropped it. But what I like what Cal's doing on defense. They're dropping their safeties. Not really thinking that Washington State's gonna run the football, and forcing Connor Halliday to hit small windows and zones versus spots versus man coverage. Griffin Pyatt along with Michael Lowe the Cal safeties on second down Halliday scanning throws a beauty to the far side complete. Pyatt comes over to make the tackle reception made by Vince Bailey he comes right back. 
Well, that's called a cover two hole shot. This defense is built so you can't make that throw. Safety over the top. They're playing two man trail technique by Dozier. Man to man coverage on the wide out. That's called confidence in that throw. First down at midfield. Cougars back to work. Halliday steady. Throws over the middle. Man all alone, but off the fingertips. Isaiah Myers. Just couldn't gather it in. He found a soft spot right in the middle there. Well, keep an eye on Isaiah Myers. He's going to be here. He's going to hesitate, and then he's going to go, just like a variety of receivers we've seen tonight do for Washington State. A lot of space when they do that hesitation on the outside. That's a catch he's got to make. Brings up second down. Halliday trailing by one. Throwing near side, and the ball collected up off the turf. At the 41 yard line. Isaiah Myers got his hands under that one and gathers it in. Well, it's clearly four down zone. Interesting to see what they're going to call here on third and two. Two seventeen remaining. The handoff comes tomorrow, who is upended. Shy of the first down. The market at about the well, maybe just over the 40 yard line leaves him. Well, he's about a yard and a half shot. The market at the 40. Here we go, Kev. Fourth down. All comes down to this. Can Washington State continue to move the chain on fourth and one? How do they back to throw? Unloads near side. Quaycraft the reception. And driven out of bounds, first down for the Cougars at the Cal 35. Well, surprise, surprise, they go to number 21, River <laughs> Craigcraft again on a third or a fourth down. That's his second fourth down conversion of the night. A minute 41 remaining on a first down. Craigcraft with his 10th grab of the night, making 11. And he has three touchdowns to go with the 11 catches. Halliday trips to his left, looks to the middle, hard rush, flushed out, throwing, firing end zone for the lead, ball. incomplete. Boy, up for grabs. Calvin Green was down there. And Darius Allensworth made a terrific defensive play, Yogi, to just get in the way. Well, you know what I love about this is late in the ball game, you can play tight, and Connor Halliday says, nope, I'm going to cut it loose and throw it up for my wide out. And same thing for Allensworth, the redshirt freshman playing his most extensive time of the year, makes a play in the end zone. Minute 32 remaining. Second down for Washington State, trailing by one. Halliday oh. angles one far side. That's caught a first down, down to about the 21-yard line. Now a field goal, very much a reality. Calvin Green, the reception. How oh, about that throw? You want to talk about layering it over a defense? Connor Halliday, he just cruises down in complete control. First down and 10, a minute 14 remaining in the game. Ball to far hash mark. Here comes pressure. Halliday unloads, pass complete to the 10. Manley inside the five yard line. Connor Halliday saw the locomotive coming and unloaded to Mainly, who makes the catch and has Washington State inside California's five. Well, at the quarterback position, you know sometimes you got to take one on the chin and you got to stand in there and deliver the ball. And that's exactly what Connor Halliday did. And a new FBS record. Connor Halliday, 734 yards. And here he is, first down. 50 seconds remaining for Washington State. The handoff, they bounce it out to the far side, getting to the threshold was Wicks, but stopped at the goal line. Quickly, they get to the line of scrimmage. 28 seconds remaining. Halliday high snap, the handoff, little stutter step, and a timeout called by Washington State as they are stopped at the brink. Wicks again with a carry. Tried to cut back but lost his footing and Kelly mowed him down. Quinn Brashears 
transfer from Fresno State a junior getting warmed up. What a drive by Washington State and Connor Halliday. And then what a stop by this Cal defense inside the three yard line to force a third and goal. I mean, you can't draw up a game any more dramatic than the one we've got. 56 points scored in the third quarter after a pedestrian first half between <laughs> these two clubs. Coming up next, the Dr. Pepper postgame report with Mike Yam, Rick Neuheisel, Curtis Conway, Anthony Heron. They're going to recap all the action on the full Saturday of college football. The Dr. Pepper postgame report coming up next. It's been our pleasure to bring you this broadcast on homecoming night from Pullman, Washington. And here we go. Quentin Brashears. We're looking at a 19 yarder. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. And the kick is no good. No good. Wide right. 15 seconds remaining in this one, and the kick goes wide right. Not sure about the hold, Yogi. The hold did not look clean. Isaiah Myers, the holder. Take a look. The snap is low. Looks as though he gets the hold down. But as kickers, sometimes you're in such rhythm, you see that poor snap and you hesitate a little bit. And the slightest of changes on a field goal mm -hmm. that is this close makes it very difficult to make. And even more so, Washington State goes for it on third down. And the reason you do that is just in case something catastrophic happens, yeah. like a bad snap, and you fall on it. Yeah, the ball got laid down, picked up by Myers, but by that time, Brashears is in his motion. And it's wide right. Unbelievable. How about Cal winning a double overtime last week against Colorado? That came after they lost on the Hail Mary bomb with four seconds remaining in Tucson. And now tonight, they win on a missed 19 yard field goal by Washington State, the final here in Pullman, 60 to 59. Absolute shock right now here in Pullman. And elation, obviously, for the California Golden Bears, who take the lead in the North Division of the Wild Pac-12. Let's go down to the field and Lewis Johnson standing by. Well, Coach, it was billed as an old-fashioned shootout from the Wild West. How in the world did you guys come out on top in the very end? Well, we, we played. We played every play. Played to the very last play and, you know, got a little heat on the, on the last kick and, and got fortunate. You know, guys played really hard. We got down. Um, and they just hung in there, man. They've got a fighter spirit, and I'm really proud of these players. What did you say at halftime that made, uh, enabled you guys to come out here and score a touchdown the first drive, and then really the shootout began, and you stayed on top? Well, you know, we just we felt like we, we missed a lot of opportunities in the first half, didn't execute very well, and made a couple of adjustments at halftime and, and uh, made some plays. Real, like I said, really proud of our guys for hanging in there and battling. And Jared Goff had a great game, but then you had the special teams play of Trevor Davis. And those, how big was that? Yeah, that was huge. Every time, every time Washington State scored, we we were able to answer and we just kind of kept our guys in the ball game and gave us a chance. And now four and one, you really feel like the turnaround is in full effect at Cal? Well, we got another one next week, so we just gotta, gotta go find a way to win another one. All right, thanks so much. Okay. Congrats. Thank you. Kevin? Well, thank you, Lewis. On third down, of course, the previous two downs, they tried to run the ball with Gerard Wicks. He had 15 seconds left. I don't know, is there room there for second guessing? Of course. And I think that's what's gonna be the top of the conversation. And the reason you go for it on third down is if it's a poor snap, you can fall on it and get another shot at it. They don't have they don't do that. They don't fall on the poor snap, try to execute, and they miss. But what an incredible game. <laughs> yeah. Jared Goff, Connor Halliday, explosion in all three phases, and at the end, of course, a dramatic win by the Cow Bears, and the turnaround, as Lewis just said, is underway as they're four and one.
Well, we've enjoyed bringing it to you. Hope you enjoy watching it tonight. The fellas will have to wrap up a complete day of college football. What a nightcap it was tonight here at Pullman. 60-59 California Golden Bears prevail. Yogi Rob, Kevin Calabro, Lewis Johnson. 60-59 California the winner. Let's go to Mike Yam at the Pac-12 Network Studios.